Uh, R Dubs, Red Atlantis, Vaunted, Scree, Pen Tropica, Angus, uh, Chef Davy, Alt Rock Music, uh, Rorschach, Jim Bodyson, uh, Light Sworn Shadow. Oh, check out my sweater. Do you guys like it? I went shopping. Yeah, I went shopping. <laughs> yeah, I fucking made it rain. <laughs> Look at that sweater, huh? It's pretty nice, huh? It's kind of. Kind of, kind of good, kind of good looking. Feel like I've been uh, getting a real style going with my with my sweaters. College freshman looking ass. What do you look like, bitch? <laughs> you post pick, huh? All right, I'm here live, bro. I'm here showing myself. Uh, my <laughs> uh, well sweater. It's actually better. So here's the thing. I bought this sweater without thinking of the implications. And I know it's gonna sound, you're not even gonna believe me, but I really did because I saw this and I liked it and I bought it. And then I thought of what it's gonna mean. So when I show you the rest of the sweater, you have to understand that it's all part of a larger plan. It's all part of, uh, for the whole style. And I'll, I would wear this normally in public, all right? So here's the sweater, okay? <laughs> But like the rest of it is so great. Like the rest of it is so good. How could I ever, like I love this color. I love the design. I feel like it pops my eyes a little bit, but it's got this fucking cow on it. Uh, unfortunate, that's how, that's how fucking life deals you the hands, you know? You gotta play the cards you're dealt. Or in this case, you have to purchase a set of cards with cows on them. <laughs> <laughs> this could be merch, bro. I would love this to be merch. Unironically, this is fire. If I could sell this as merch, I would. Unironically, bro. Uh, yo, Atriac, I started Iron Gold today. <laughs> Look at this. Been uh, loving the series so far thanks to the book rack. Bro, no problem. I've heard from a lot of people that got into Red Rising off my wreck and they're enjoying it. And that fucking rules. Seeing, see, you recommending a book to someone and they tell you they like it is like the nicest thing they can do. Because <laughs> there's no recommendation that means more than a book rec. Movie rec is so small stakes. YouTube video rec, small stakes. But a book rec is like, if they don't like it, you're almost on a fundamentally different page. So, uh, like, you know, people like it. I feel good. I appreciate it. Uh... Some subtle coffee cow merch would be so sick. No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> There's no way to be subtly a coffee cow. Do you understand? It's, it's ridiculous. No, no, we're going to stick with the failed businesses thing. That's what I like. I like merch that is all about failed businesses. That's fun because I would wear that unironically and did wear that in, in call it. I wore that all the time. Um, do, 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 do. What if it, what if it was subtly like, all right, let me let me like picture paint a picture for you, okay? Let me paint a picture for you. Wait, let me make sure I'm not uh here, wait. Uh don't wanna show my predictions. Oh, both sides. Wait, both sides are unusable. Dude, what is the point of buying a motherfucking whatever, I got a picture of this. Oh! Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what was I gonna say? So imagine, if you will, a shirt that looks like this. That's a shirt. You see it? I'll put it a little closer, okay? And then very subtly, we'd have like a big cow on it. <laughs> That's <this is> the cow. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then right 
the sleeve is like a coffee cup. And it's like pouring. So it's like, so it's like, is that, is this tracking at all? Are you guys following or am I too far ahead? I feel like sometimes, I feel like I'm a professor and you guys are a class that's not paying attention. Like I'm, I'm giving you, would you cop that? Would you cop that? If it like, for example, let's say you're at a party, for example, and you can hold your arm up and it would like show the coffee pouring. <laughs> and then the, co the, the cow would be like, would that, I feel like if I charge, let's say I charge $90 for that. Are you buying? <laughs> Are you buying? Because if so, I will fucking do it. I will fucking do it. Uh... <laughs> Make it 120. All right, I'll double it. I'll double it, all right? Because we want the highest quality. What a steal. What a steal. Uh, no, we're going to do Enron hats and maybe some other failed business merch, which is fun. I do think, I think, I, I've been on such a China kick this year, especially. And I'm going to travel to China this year. And um, we're be talking about China on that PayPix podcast. And uh, I'm thinking I might want to do Evergrande as the next company, the next failed merch company. I think Evergrande... But enough people know about it that it's like got that underground, like almost like Enron used to be status. I think an Evergrande like hoodie or something, I, or or like uh, or hat would go dumb hard. Uh, so that's that's what I'm thinking. Uh, FTX. The thing about FTX is I unironically realized that it's too soon. <laughs> it's too soon, and so it's too hard to be ironic. <laughs> If you wear FTX shit, people just think you're like crypto. They think you love crypto. They think you like still have it or they think you like didn't uh, get the memo. Like it's not, uh, people don't understand that uh, you're doing it ironically. FTX has been, has been unfortunate for me to wear. Um, my friends are challenging me to Age of Empires 4. Can you play for me? No, but I'll give you uh Sun Tzu Art of War, okay? Pick Chinese, turtle, get to Imperial Age, and then get a bunch of Fire Lancers. I got to top 1,000 with that. Uh, uh, I wouldn't wear an FTX hat being labeled as a Crypto Bros. Yeah, exactly. Do you understand? You can't actually be... Like... <laughs> When you wear an Enron hat, nobody thinks you're unironically a fraud, bro. <laughs> Nobody's like, oh, this guy really supports corporate fraud. They get that it's a joke if they get the reference. All right. Now I do support corporate fraud. So it's but they don't they don't catch me on to that. Uh, but if you wear an FTX, I don't think you're unironically a crypto bro, which is like bad. Like you might unironically support Sam Megan Freed or whatever, which is which is not what you want. Nobody uh, crypto is such a death knell. You really don't want to be associated with it. Um, how, hey, Big A, how do you feel about the S&P crossing the big 5-0? Five racks, bro. All-time highs for the S&P 500. Our 401ks are safe. It is also an all-time high in the level of concentration in the top few stocks. Interesting. Interesting. 28.6% in like the top seven, per, seven stocks. Really six now. Tesla's out. <laughs> Magnificent six. But uh, it is interesting. It is interesting. End of the day, better that it's up than down. Uh, and the fact that, you know, um, over 90% of, actually 95% of all stocks are owned by like the top 8% of people <laughs> is, is irrelevant. Okay? It's an economy that's good for all. Uh, is it possible for not Americans to estimate? Uh, yeah, of course. Bro, do you think it's only Americans? If, uh, I guess I'm, why am I being mean? <laughs> You're asking a simple question. Uh, no, anyone on earth can invest in the S&P 500. And in fact, they do. In fact, the fact that America runs a large current account deficit, which means we are um, hungry, hungry consumers <laughs> who import much more than we export, um, means that American dollars end up overseas and need to find a, a safe haven. They have, to, they, have to, they have to buy something with that to keep the money going. Usually they would buy government treasuries, but... Countries are getting scared of that. So they're just dumping their money in the S&P or in real estate. Or in... A lot of Japanese banks put it in commercial real estate, which is now blowing up. Uh, I feel like more Japanese banks are failing off of our bad offices than American banks thus far. Uh, 
Big A. Oh, uh, Big A, I'm a 3D web dev, and a lot of the projects that are up for grabs are... Oh, anyway, by the way, today I am playing a game. I want you guys to know ahead of time, I got a plan today. There's a fun little short game called sheepy a short adventure overwhelmingly positive on steam looks really cute looks fun apparently you can beat it in like an hour or 90 minutes or whatever uh looks really fucking cool it's trending on steam i was like fuck it i'll just play it today so i am going to do that um so if you're ep it'll be perfect right up your alley so i'm gonna do that today but i'm also want to want to vibe i want to talk to chat i want to answer questions and then i also thought it would be really fun if we do like um like a reddit not reddit recap for our reddit but we go to like a reddit like i was thinking of going to am i the asshole or like our teachers or something and like reading stuff there and reacting with chat or our asmund gold <laughs> our asmund gold is a tough read bro it's a tough they have a very distinct they have a very distinct style uh i think that'd be fun all right that way cause, here's the thing here's what i realized all right I like the interaction stuff a lot lately. I've been on a kick. It's fun. I like the chatting. I like the back and forth. But we need something to focus it. Otherwise, it is, you know, I just can't. I mean, I could talk all day, every day. It's fun. It's like a podcast. But, like, I like to have a subject. So, oh, jeez. Come on, give it some heft, bro. Um, so that's where I'm at. And that's what I'm going to do. And so I got plenty to do today. And then uh, I'll just let you know ahead of time. I probably am going to watch House at 11 or 10. But I don't know yet. Not 100%. Depends on everything. Uh, but this, I think this is bullshit. I think the whole waffling thing is actually bullshit because every stream is waffling. Do you understand? Every stream is people waffling. If they're waffling over playing a game or if they're waffling while talking straight, it's all waffling, bro. That's what streaming is. <laughs> that is every stream on all of Twitch is waffling. It's just either waffle while they're... But I think I think the waffle. I think I'm, I'm serving better waffles when I do it direct to chat. When I'm pulling up chat messages and reacting and talking, I think that's better waffles. I think that's tastier waffles. Um, the stream. Oh, oh it's you. Talking too fast. Everyone, take turns. Take fucking turn. How everyone's talking over each other. Everyone, pass the talking stick around and one person make a message at a time okay and that way we can pull it up we can all react to it and read it and then we'll have a good time <laughs> the talking phone here make it an emote somebody pick an emote and then we'll toss it around <laughs> all right can i say something please yes one sats what are you gonna say one sats it's all on you the spotlight's on you what you say will determine the next thing we talk about Dude, oh, somebody, wait, actually, fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, one sets, but fuck you. Somebody asked something interesting. Uh, well, actually, first pause. You're dressed like you'll be doing spoken word poetry. Interior. My thoughts. A heart beats. But no one knows where it sleeps. I am concept is banned <laughs> all right bitch <laughs> uh ian by the way i guess your name is probably ian so i'll give it a timeout for a day uh, <clears throat> uh where, where 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 was i oh, oh, somebody asked a question about um somebody asked a question uh Somebody asked a fucking question about bruh, 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 bruh. I don't, I can't find it, but I'm going to tell you that I remember it. Here's what they asked. Um, It was about gambling commercials. What do they feel about the promotion of gambling commercials? Here's what I want to tell you about gambling commercials, bro. I was at uh, the barber today getting my haircut. And we were talking about the same thing. We were talking about the Super Bowl, talking about gambling, talking about DraftKings. And over the course of the conversation, I realized that the guy I was complaining about gambling to was a huge fucking gambling addict. <laughs> like, I found out that my barber, who I was like, bro, I, yeah, I honestly, unironically, man, like, I, I gamble, I gamble all the time, but like, I, 
I'm starting to think this whole DraftKings and like gambling on your phone and 24 seven ads about it is like bad for people. And he was like, well, not if you play the parlays, right? <laughs> And like, I would laugh at that if it was a joke, but he wasn't saying it as a joke. And he started, and then, like, every time I was like trying to steer the conversation, I was like, you know, I was like, you know, I was like, yeah, bro. I was like, look, yeah, I'm not against gambling. I'm no fucking narc here. I'm just saying, like, do we really think that like every fucking 18 to 24 year old dude in America should be gambling with all of their <laughs> income? And he's like, well, a lot of them don't know how to play it. <laughs> He's like, they think the house always wins, but I, I was like, bro, well, no. <laughs> well, no, that's not entirely true, but you are cutting my hair. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and you know what? You're right. Yeah, you're right. Um, betting on games is so fun. Even if I lose, I see it as buying a ticket to enjoy it more again. Fine. Right. That's what, what I think is like, I thought sports books in Vegas fine you know you go to the track you, you, what i it's part of the experience i just think when people are sitting alone watching the game alone fucking DraftKings on their phone degenerate betting to try and get out of a hole we're in a problem and, and it's not even like me my opinion bro this is a fact like the fucking the rise of um people calling gambling helplines skyrocketed in the past year skyrocketed number like you know uh, the, the money the money the casinos and DraftKings making skyrocketed last year. So where's that money come from? It's come from the clients. Um, uh, you'll never know the rush of watching Ukrainian women's tennis at 4 a.m. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> Facts, facts, dude, facts, facts. I do remember um, I was on like a work trip for NVIDIA. We were all in Vegas. I think it was for CES or something. And we all went out to gamble together. You know, just the boys. And there was two women there. <laughs> I shouldn't have said the boys. That's actually sexist because honestly, it was a it was multi-gender group. And um, we ended up betting on the most... I think it was like, am I, this is going to sound crazy, but I feel like it was like Middle Eastern horse races. <laughs> Cause it was like 3 a.m. And there was like the only horse races you could watch on the screen. We were betting on some weird shit. And, uh, and uh, I lost a lot of money that night. Um, hey, truck, can you talk a little bit? Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Fuck, how do I get to that message? How do I get to that message? Uh, I'm gonna blame this on auto, because like, how am I supposed to find it? Oh. Uh, do you put chats on the white screen so it moves slower? No, what I do is I my mind mentally guesses whether a chat will be good based on the first three words. <laughs> I just jump. I just start reading it. I just, I flash the first three and then I go, that's worth it. And I start reading it. Uh, and it's like, just picking out, it's like, it's like if there's a school of minnows going down the stream and you just, you pick one out. That's what I, that's, that's what it's like. Um, what is that drawing behind you? That is the uh, upcoming coffee cow merch featuring a giant cow taking up the full of the shirt, getting poured coffee from the sleeve. I feel like you guys would want to wear it. So uh, I printed a lot of them. It's going to cost $180 per sweater uh, down payment. And then of course there'll be a retainer fee. It's like a subscription service. So every month you wear it, you have to wait, pay a little bit more, but it's really affordable when you think about it. Um, Australia, gambling, and America. What is your view on that? America is importing Australia's sports betting culture. I do know that Australia is ahead of the game on being degenerate gamblers. You guys got the pokies, which is just like slot machines in every fucking building and that many people lose their lives on. 
Um, but I and I guess you're ahead on sports betting, but I don't think we're importing Australia, bro. Just just to be honest, I just think that um, the big leagues in America finally realized they can make money off of it. <laughs> At first, for the longest time, they thought it was something that would lose them money by hurting the integrity of their game or scaring away sponsors. But then they realized that the, the gambling companies could be the sponsors and they could get a cut of the... Um, and so it took over. Um, I thought it was because it was legalized. Why do you think... Do you think it just randomly was legalized? Or do you think perhaps it was an extremely coordinated uh, and calculated state-by-state -state campaign by the gambling companies that put a ton of money... <laughs> Money, time, and lobbying effort to get it overturned in like 38 out of 50 states within two years. Uh, where it was just like one day everyone's like, ah, you know what? <laughs> Job outlook, cybersecurity. Take us on a great field that. Uh, cybersecurity is a great field. Cybersecurity specifically, great and growing field. Tech is more broad. Uh, again, I can't guarantee you a job, bro. I don't know you. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you look at it, cybersecurity, growing. Uh, the, the, the risks posed to big corporations with all this data is higher than ever. Um, it's, it's ever more important that they have people on that team. Yeah, I mean, just demand is rising every year for cybersecurity, so... It's, it's better. <clears throat> and it makes good money. And generally, it's one of those jobs. Again, layman's perspective, but I have two friends that work in cybersecurity. Um, it's one of those jobs where, you know, nobody knows what the fuck you do. <laughs> it's one of those jobs where you have kind of easy work-life balance and hours generally. Again, crisis has happened, and then it takes over your life. Like, for example, at Twitch, whenever... Uh, I forget if it was... Uh, was this even public? There was a huge hack at Twitch and they had access to like all of our, uh, all the internal networks of the company and uh, they had to like, they had to um, replace every employee's laptop, every single employee's laptop. Yeah, the source code got leaked. Yeah, it was crazy. They called it, what did they call it? It's not, not Pizzagate. <laughs> It was called like pizza party or something because everyone of the cybersecurity team and a lot of the engineers had to live at the office for like two, three weeks and they ate pizza all the time. So they called it pizza party or something like, it was like for a long time they, or like the, I don't know, the pizza thing. Um, so, and they were definitely, they were dead by the end of that. They were exhausted. So I'm assuming that's what it's like, but in general, I think day to day, nobody knows what the fuck you do and you can kind of just have a good time. Browse Reddit or some shit. Um, why has China's stock market been so low recently? I would love to make a full video on this and not really give you an ad hoc answer, but uh, the video that I made earlier is the reason. The, the China's debt crisis, it is their real estate bubble imploding similar to America in 2008. It is, it is continuing to do, it's the same thing. <laughs> It is a slow motion, but now, you know, gradually then suddenly. Uh, it's not 30 days though. It's not, again, the <laughs> the country's status as a country is not in, in danger, but their stock market is at like, it's like it, I swear to God, I feel like it's at 1995 levels or something crazy. It's, it's so incredibly low. The Hong Seng is like incredibly low. Um, it's, uh, yeah, bad. It's bad. Um, and getting worse. Uh, still much more uh, price discovery on these inflated properties. Uh, is there an example of this happening, happening in a country didn't survive? Uh, I don't. No, I don't know the answer to your question. Um, it's it is not comparable. It's all different. <laughs> China is such a big economy that they also have a very big real estate bubble. But um, I'm trying to. I, very rarely this would cause the end of a country. This would cause just pain. You know, like, you know, 
economic pain. Citizens mad. Like, yeah, when economies get really bad, I, I think very rarely in history does the country dissolve. <laughs> you know, like Soviet Union is the last example where they kind of just like the government imploded. Uh, more realistically, there's like change, either through uh, election of a, a far opposing party or, you know, somebody coming to power. Or whatever. Like that's what could happen, but I think unrealistic. I mean, I think I think they're just going to have a bad economy for a while, like bad, you know, just just a down market, down wages, not hiring, slow growth. Um, it struck, I made $5 <laughs> on NVIDIA from a partial stock. Thanks for the Big Mac. I sold and ate the winnings, the wings. To make $5 on NVIDIA is actually nearly impossible. You must have sold, you bought and sold in the same second. <laughs> <laughs> I $5. I mean, it's been going up. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a partial share, right? So percentage. Well, yeah, I guess it's, it doesn't know what your share is. Yeah, I guess. I guess that tracks. <laughs> Did you buy like one? Like if you've held for a full day, I just find it hard to man, you only made $5, but. All right. Um. Do 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 Did you see yeah, we talked about Nancy Pelosi? She made fucking fat ungodly stacks. The the you know people in, in Congress owning stocks is bad enough, but them playing degenerate options trades <laughs> Buying like, you know, out of the money calls on NVIDIA and mooning overnight to make fucking 1.2 million in a few weeks is crazy. It's like, it, it's it's actually degenerate. It's Wall Street Bets-esque, but for senators. Um, Would you play the older Hitman games? No, probably not. Uh, I really appreciate this nice message from my big brain profound mind and you tried to probably not. I don't think I would ever do that. I think, maybe not ever, but it's not on my list. Gaming I have to be very specific about because I have to finish Outer Wilds this this year. Or no, sorry, this month. <laughs> uh, this month. Hi, Mia Lore. How are you doing? How's everybody doing today? What's going on? Anybody have any, any crazy thing that happened to them today? I'm interested in, oh, I also had another fun idea. I wonder if anyone's um, able to help me with this. I wonder if anyone's able to help me with this. I need, I need like, uh, okay, here's the idea. Let me just, Ecto Watches! Holy shit, thank you very much. Ecto Watches, what's your last message? You said, um... You said, but they are more important than us so they can do whatever they want. Who are you talking about? <laughs> That's your only message. <laughs> what, who's more important than us? Anyway, thank you for the gifty. That's very kind. Um, the French? Oh, senators. Senators. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Senators are more important than us and therefore they can get away with anything scot-free. I appreciate that. Um, Mango Lover just hit a 315 squat. Fucking congrats. Jesus Christ. Um... Dude, what was I saying? Oh, the idea. So here's the idea. I I want to have a video titled, Who is my dumbest chatter? <laughs> okay? Who is my dumbest chatter is the video. And the concept would be a trivia game where we're all, like everyone joins Discord that wants to play. Maybe we cap it at 100 or something. And then I ask trivia questions and the first person to get it right is eliminated. That means they're safe. <laughs> so we get down to there's only one person, two people left who are the dumbest people. Okay? We just keep removing people until there's only people that can't answer anything left. And then it's who's the dumbest chatter. Um, and of course the dumbest chatter gets banned or something like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Why, why would you want to throw? I mean, you're just getting, I guess you get banned. I guess they would, maybe for the YouTube video. Ah, uh, I forgot people are cringe. I forgot people are cringe. That's a problem. Well, something to think about. <laughs> I don't know why to think about it. Um, kill them in real life if they lose? No, we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to. We're not going to murder our shatters in real life if they lose. All right, Dan Clancy. <laughs> All right, if they're gone, I may actually off somebody. I may. <laughs> I mean, if once this clip is over and Dan Clancy's seen it, we may actually fucking guillotine or firing squad. I'll make them drink hot coffee until they explode. We'll keep it thematic. <laughs> uh... Dollar reward for answering correct here. Oh, it could be interesting. It could be interesting. If there was cash prizes for getting out early. But then I don't want to pay. I mean, not, not I'm not really worried about the money. It's like the logistics of paying a thousand people or a hundred people is like, I'll just forget to pay half of them and then I'll get 14 Reddit threads where it's like, I've been paid my $15 from uh, the six month ago game show. <laughs> What the fuck is Atriox's problem? And then it, it just, it's going to be such a pain in the ass. It'll just be such a pain in the ass, bro. Uh, so, uh, you know, it'll have to be something else. Uh, do you want to know what Gen Z thinks? What is this? I absolutely don't want to watch this 2,000 view sh YouTube short about Vegeta. Nope. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't want to watch that. Uh... You should do the smartest chatter challenge and the first one out is crowned the dumbest. The problem with the smartest chatter challenge is that chatters will cheat. Um, they'll cheat. Actually, it feels like either way I do it, the problem is that some chatters will be cringe. <laughs> I'm now realizing that I cannot rely upon you. Uh, there will be some cringiness either way. What if I did most cringiest chatter? And then it's just whoever I interacted with last. <laughs> you won, Moonfish God. Uh, oh, we could do longtime subs. That would be interesting. We could make it so you have to have a certain, like, you have to be a three month sub or whatever. And then I, I very likely, they don't want to get banned. Um,. Yeah, it would be more legit. That would be, that could be fun. I actually might do that. Actually, you might have solved it. You might have been one of the smartest chatters. Uh, what about the most mid chatter? You randomly eliminate the smartest and dumbest to get the most middling chatter. You're the most mid. <laughs> this idea has proved that you are the most mid chat member. Congratulations, Nordis. You're not bad. You're not good. You're right there in the middle. It's not bad. It's actually pretty, pretty all right. Nothing wrong with being mid. You got, Gen Z is the one that says mid as a bad thing. If I say mid, I mean the middle, bro. I mean five out of 10, 50%. Uh, I mean dead center. <laughs> well, not an IGN. An IGN five out of 10 is how Zoomers say mid. That's what mid means. Because <laughs> an IGN five out of 10 is a normal place is zero. 50% isn't passing. That's only because of great inflation, bro. It's not a good system. In a really true curved grade, 50% would be in the middle. Um, when people say the average person, they're always talking about them. I don't think so. I think most people think of themselves in many cases as above average when they probably aren't, just statistically. I don't think people see themselves as average. Um, uh, 50% is a fail, so you can kind of guess to get a 59. Wait, 
Uh, I'm so glad, Marco, that you like the books. Sincerely. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm glad you like it, bro. That's fucking hype. Uh... <laughs> Why is Yeti posting the Batman? I don't know, but the fact that Atrioc Terry works in this is pretty sick. Otto really cooked. He really just vacuumed up all the crumbs, <laughs> as I like to say. Uh, thank you for the six months. Thank you for the six months, Presto Turtle. Banjo Tui, thank you for 28 months. Bro, your username rules. On account of Ari isn't playing Banjo Tui out there, and I sit there and watch her. It's like a very fun, watching Ari play video games is one of my favorite activities. And uh, Banjo-Tooie, I, I honestly hated the game as a kid because it's way bigger and um, more difficult than Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, Mary here, I'll think about it. I made a t-shirt design for your Coffee Cow merch. All right, what do we got here? You would wear this? I just want you to, this is something that you would wear on a t-shirt and it's a cow with hundred plates of coffee. Let, okay, so um, scenario, you're wearing this, um, where? Prom, <laughs> it's, it's prom, <laughs> it's, uh, you're going from promotion, okay? And then, <sighs> The Grammys, sure, a funeral, dad's funeral. And someone asks you, oh, what is your, sh what's your shirt? What is this, what is this cow? Um, what are you saying? How are you responding? How are you justifying? You're saying moo. <laughs> <laughs> so your grandmother at your, um, at your father's funeral ask you and you moo at her the nerve at a funeral to ask me what i'm wearing <laughs> i guess it, i mean you're wearing something pretty tacky i think but it would be rude of them to to question you i guess you're right on that uh bold to assume they don't watch the stream oh yeah they'll pick it up in fact maybe you're Dead father in the grave will come out and give you a thumbs up because he loves Big A's content. Uh, debt, the first 5,000 years. The book, I already read this book. I think I've re recommended this book. Um, it's a great book. It's, it's a bit of a read. I wouldn't say it's a Red Rising, a light read, but it is great. Uh, if you like this book, I'm going to recommend one for you as a follow-up. If you liked it. It's called The Price of Time. Um, and it might be the best and most relevant book to what's going on nowadays with the rise of interest rates. The Price of Time. Check it out. Mm. Um, wrong, that would be the Bible. <laughs> Why do all these books have such fuck ass titles? What would you call it? What? <laughs> what is your? If it's a book about the five thousand years of debt, what would you call it? Answer the wiping questions. I wipe sitting. I wipe sitting down. You must know that if that's an answer you really want. Uh, <laughs> you would call it "Get Your Money Up, Not Your Funny Up." I guess I would read that too. Maybe you're right. But. To me, this is also a fuck-ass title. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like I would... I wouldn't be able to tell a difference. Never read this. Sounds interesting. Sounds sad, actually. I I, I don't watch out for books like these. I, I read um, Plunder, and it is about how private equity is pillaging all of America. And at the end of it, it is like... And here's our solutions. <laughs> and it was like, we could maybe, you know, ask people to change. <laughs> it was like, we could, we could try voting. You know, it's like, all right. I mean, that's fine. But like, it wasn't, it wasn't inspiring to me. 
and the whole rest of the book was so vivid in his depictions of uh, how bad things are that I was I was not moved or I was negatively moved. It was depressing. Uh, one second, I need a drink. That's fucking fucking hot. It's hot in here. I'm wearing the sweater with a cow on it, and You guys ever read this book called um, The Hungry Caterpillar? To me, it's one of the most profound business books ever written. It's a little, it's a little um, difficult, right? It's not going to be something you're going to be able to parse through in one month. You're going to need to give it a lot of time to digest and really power through it, you know, line by line. But if you if you internalize the lessons of that book. Um, you will eat for life, much as the hungry caterpillar did. Um, have you read the three? Oh, you know what we could do? What if I change my title? Um, I had a little note to myself. I had a little note to myself. Um, bro, bro, fun chat, fun stuff, chat open. And it was doo, 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 fun stuff chat open. And it was these upcoming movie trailers, maybe? Yeah, let's watch a couple of these. All right. How many monitors do you use to stream? I use 17 monitors. Is that a problem? Uh, yeah, you know what's funny is I don't even get paid for these. It's not even a bounty board thing. I'm just gonna watch movie trailers unironically. But the reason I bring that up and the reason you said it is because they're making a movie of the three body problem. You know that or a show? I can't tell. It's Netflix. Uh, anyway, let's watch it. Three body problem is one of the most famous pieces of Chinese science fiction. Uh, that's been translated and sold great number of copies all over the world, and they're making a Netflix show or or movie. I don't know. We'll find out right now. I saved this for watching with you. There must be thirty dead scientists in the past month. Christ, another countdown. Has anyone now seen it? Someone or something is targeting scientists. They're going after our best and brightest. Pause right there. <laughs> All respect to scientists, but marketers are our best and brightest. <laughs> okay? If they were hitting marketers, then I, if they did the people that made that Bird King campaign, then I would like, oh my God, we got to really worry. But if we're hitting scientists, it's like, okay, they're... They're bright. <laughs> They're not our brightest, is all I'm saying. There's someone behind everything. You just have to dig. Whatever it is, it's watching and listening. Well, I'm not seeing it now. <laughs> No fucking shot, bro. Ew, gross. All right, well, you know what? The trailer's fine so far, but I want to watch the ending. I don't want to watch the fucking ending. We don't know what they are. 
maybe we can't know what they are. Do you believe in God? right to be scared but we have got one shot and i need your help smoky prepare yourself for something very strange Master Chief comes in, fucking guns blazing. We fucking pivot the whole movie. I'd be sick as hell. Uh, this looks good. This unironically looks good. Um, I guess they solved their ending problem because the book is fully written and complete and done. <laughs> so really, the the source of uh, Game of Thrones problems comes back to George R. R. Martin, who never finished his job. Uh. This looks good. I'm excited. I, I, I couldn't tell. That. Am I crazy? Can I? Can anyone tell if that was a show or a movie? <laughs> is it like? I mean, it could, is anyone able? To, it's a movie. Okay, it's a show. People are saying both things. Show almost for sure. Let's find out right now. Three body problem Netflix show? Question mark. <laughs> it's a show. It's a one season show. Okay, interesting. All right, well, that looks fucking cool. Uh, how about this? How about this? This one's called Mother's Instinct. Let me change my title. Watching all upcoming movie trailers for 2024 to determine which ones are worth seeing. So our first movie trailer that we watched was a TV show. <laughs> But how do we want to rank this? Okay. S tier must see. A tier. Hell yeah. B tier maybe if you're into that kind of thing. C tier. It's a skip. D tier. Boycott the movie and roast it on social. Okay, those are our options. I think for this, possibly even S tier. I mean, I'm pretty excited for it. It's a great story, three body problem. Mm, maybe only because of the Game of Thrones guys, I have to knock it down to A. Three body problem. All right, let's watch this, watch the rest. Just because, you know what? They've earned the right, I don't care how good the show is, even if it's fucking great, They've earned the right to be, I don't know, knocked down a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of a peg. They really fucked over that show. Game of Thrones, I mean, they really fucked it over. Uh, you should watch the Avatar trailer? Yeah, we'll watch it. Lassie, a lassie, a lassie. Did you ever see a go this way? Theo? Theo! When Theo was born, I couldn't even hold him. Okay, I was afraid I was going to drop him. I'm a terrible mother. You're a wonderful mother. And a wonderful friend. I just want you to be happy, too. <laughs> Max? Max, get down. It's not safe. Max? Oh shit. Did you ever see a lassie go this way? Yep. Max is gone. It wasn't easy bringing you into this world. It starts now off you've with left a dead kid. Soon. Go this way. You need to separate the grief from the guilt. 
What killed Alice? Something Sorry. broken inside of me. I'm sorry, wait, she does. What? Is it implying she's involved? And I need you. I saw the look in her eyes. She thinks that I should have saved her son. Is that coming from her? Or you? You think I'm imagining things? We're not going down this path again. You're right. God knows I can get carried away sometimes. Can Theo come over for a little bit? Wait, okay, let me make sure I understand. Uh, uh, they both had a kid. Jessica Chastain didn't save Anne Hathaway's kid, so he died. And now Anne Hathaway's going a little bit crazy and might take it out on her kid. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's amazing how quickly you forgot my son. Our son. It helps me to spend time with Theo, but it helps him too. Do you miss him? They do be shopping. <laughs> That's the title, if you can believe it. The title is They Do Be Shopping, A Woman's Story. It's really backwards, if you think about it. It's pretty backwards. Celine's my friend. Get off the balcony! Violet's best room. Did you put Theo on that balcony to test me? Do you think I'm capable of that? She wants us to pay for Max. You're just accusing me of being some kind of monster. You're losing touch with reality. Leave my family alone! I'm not imagining things. Okay. I mean, if this story is straightforward, I'm not so interested. I mean, it looks like they're, they're really great actresses and I can get the point of it. But if it turns out that Jessica Chastain, by the way, if you're not an actress person, that's her, blonde. If she's imagining it, if she has guilt over the whole thing and she's like, it's all in her mind and Anne Hathaway is actually fine, that'd be kind of crazy. That'd be a kind of crazy film. Like if you find out at the end, it's all... I think that'd be a real, that'd be a real interesting twist. I'm gonna put this in B tier. If you're into that sort of thing. Mother's instinct, instinct. Okay. Uh, what about this movie? It's called Tuesday by A24. I just don't think you understand how Tinder works. Can I tell you something? I know exactly how Tinder works. Then you do. don't understand how flirting works. How do you think you got here? <laughs> it hurts. It's just day, isn't it? Everywhere. Okay. It's taking a twist. A deep demon voice, or is it like a metaphor for grief? I don't, but like they both see it. It's but like the thing is, they both see it, so it seems very literal like it's an actual magical bird. Who I am without you, I don't know what the world is without you in it. I love you more than anything. 
be okay. Promise. Promise. Promise, promise. Promise, promise. Toucan Sam not doing well after the recent layoffs. <laughs> He's taking. He's trying to get an Oscar, dude. He's been fucking farming his ass out for serial commercial money his whole life, and now he wants a serious role. He wants an Oscar. The echo you leave, the legacy, your memory, is how she lives. What? Is Okay, man, I'm really thrown off by this bird. <laughs> the bird and the voice are both throwing me off, but I guess, I guess maybe it's it's a memorable hook to this movie, or I maybe might have not thought about it otherwise because it just seems sad. Uh, but I probably won't watch it. If I'm just being honest, I'm sure I'm a big Julia, Julia, Julia Louis-Dreyfus fan. I think she's great. She's one of the funniest actresses in the world. But I don't know that I'll see this. I'm going to put it in C tier. Tuesday, isn't it? Uh, but I'm not going to boycott it on social. But it probably it may, it could be good. What about Monkey Man? Close your eyes. And you will find yourself. As a boy, my mother used to tell me a story of a demon king and his army. If you guys know the story here, Dev Patel was not able to get cast in an action movie, even though he wanted to do it. So I believe that the story goes that he wrote and directed his own, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, they brought fire and terror to the land. Which is also where Stallone did for Rocky. Until they faced the protector of the people. The white monkey. There you are. Oh, you shit. are a beast. <laughs> In this city, the rich don't see us as people. Give me the job no one wants to do. I'll do it. Anyone who forgets their place, it doesn't turn out well for them. This is not the place to work if you can't handle that sort of stuff. Every day, I've prayed for a way to protect the weak. I've got an answer to every prayer. I call her Nikki. Minaj, big bumper, <laughs> nice headlights. Let's boogie. John Wick would have made it through that window and it would have been 14 stories up and he would have fallen all 14 stories, landed square on his back and been hit by a car and then stood up. <laughs> Fight for uh, your mother, for all of us. And they're gonna not quiet your soul, my son. This looks fun. Don't call me son. <laughs> Time to remember who you are. But only love kills more when will they learn? Oh, shit. Just one small ember can burn down everything. Mark you. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready Whoa. for a fight? One, two, three. I 
I'm gonna go back to this. I'm an incredible sucker for um, gladiator scene in movie where hero has to fight escalating difficulty opponents and ends with one really big, super strong guy. <laughs> uh, and that that's crack to me. Usually when it's like a Coliseum and yeah, it's like a video. Okay, if there's three opponents, first one's easy, second one's kind of hard, and then they go with a big fucking tough strong guy. Love that. That shit always goes hard. And then obviously the hero is not as strong as them, but outsmarts them or is quicker. Fucking crack cocaine. Are you times. ready for a fight? One, two, three. I was pretty hype. That was pretty hype to me. I mean, it's easy to love. Uh, I think I put that. I'm going to put it top of A right now. Just so we can save S for anything that might blow our minds away. But I could see it going up. Monkey Man. A tier. Hell yeah. Uh, it just seems like a fun movie. And again, you know. Um, it, it, yeah, I don't know. It could be really good, or it could just be fun. <laughs> I think, like, um, hmm. I'm trying to think of a movie where, like, for example, the difference between, I think John Wick had such a charm to it, <laughs> such a love and a polish to it, that it it's, like, well above something like Taken. Do you know what I'm saying? Taken is fun to watch, but I find John Wick to be a much better movie or it has, it has so it's like they're both the same concept though it's like badass guy beats everybody up or mr nobody or like all i think there's like a there's definitely a spectrum and so it's got to execute um uh okay what about the fall guy the ghost one. Action. Yeah. Oh, so good. good. <laughs> so oh, good, good, good. good. Shot to the heart, and you're too late, darling. You give love a bad name. Anyone but him. I didn't approve him. I gotta be honest with you. I'm already a little bit sold. I'm gonna tell you, I am. Attracted to both these actors. <laughs> I think Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt are two of like the hottest people in Hollywood. I think they're both. They're just like, you know how actors are better people than us because they're more beautiful. Like these, that's what I think of. I think of these people as like more beautiful. Uh... You know that. You are literally the last person on so earth. So I'm charmed. I'm already charmed. Slap the shit out of you. I really could. And I'm open to that in a safer environment. You've been a ghost. No phone call, no text. It's not like I didn't want to apologize. You don't have to explain anything. It was just a flame. So how have you been? God, I hate that thumbs up stunt guy stuff. I'm sorry. I'm the director. We're gonna set this man on fire. You're a stunt guy. We need to Are they trying to pitch Ryan? Gosling as a stunt man. <laughs> he just doesn't. He looks like the leading man. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like every everyone on set would think that guy looks good enough to do the role. Uh... <laughs> to keep it super profesh. Profesh is my middle name. You said your middle name was Danger. It's also funny to be on set playing a stunt man and then have stunt men doing your role. <laughs> That's. <laughs> That's a funny line of thought. How do we do, uh, boss? <laughs> really? Yeah. Holster that. Yeah, it's holstered. It's done. Forget. You you never saw it. Tom Ryder, <laughs> the biggest action star on the planet, is missing. You need to bring him back. Oh. Jody's movie is dead. Tropic Thunder well, vibes. I mean, you're a stump man. Nobody's gonna notice you. That's your job. No offense. I mean, some taken. You find Ryder, save Jody's film. You get the love of your life back. 
I'm not the hero, I'm just the double. Not today, you're not. Tom, we only need you back on set, pal. Dead body on ice. He was so dead, Gail. He was super dead. <laughs> He's got himself involved with some shady people. I had no choice. I had to do some Jason Bourne shit. They were trying to kill me. And not in a fun way. You can make it, you can make it. You can't make it. It's too dangerous. Gotta be stairs. Why haven't you face? You look terrible. You look amazing. You fall down, you get right back up. How far would you go for the one that you love? I'll buy you a drink when this is over. Engage your core. Want to go to a beach somewhere? Drink a spicy margarita! Make some bad decisions! Yes! This is oh! like a... This is... What was that movie that came out recently with uh, The Rock and Ryan Reynolds and uh, Gal Gadot? What is this? What? Red Notice. This is Red Notice. This is the same thing. Get get attractive actors that everyone kind of likes and then throw, like, AI generate a movie. <laughs> you know, there's going to be explosions and actions. This is Red Notice. I watched Red Notice, and it's it's like one of those movies that I don't hate it when I'm watching it, and then I forget about it. I think this is what this is. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the bottom of beats here because, unironically, I am going to watch it. I feel like I am. I feel like they got my money, which is unfortunate. I should have better standards, but I don't think I'm going to remember it. Um, you could put that in skip. If that was if it was up to you, you could do that, but I, I'll probably see it, uh, especially if it's on streaming. Okay, what about... Um, what about... The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. What is this? Guy Ritchie, I do like Guy Ritchie. Gus March Phillips, I have a mission I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. What's the plan? To neutralize the German U-boats in the North Atlantic. We're losing the war. I'm interested. <laughs> Hitler is not playing by the rules. I'm interested. So neither are we. Fucking a badass action movie about beating Hitler? That sounds fucking fun. I'm intrigued. We both know that I'm not very popular with the administration. Huh? The reason they find you unattractive is the very reason I find you attractive. Game up story. <laughs> if I'm to do this, I'll need my own team. <laughs> you won't like, like them. There's, there's actually no action at all. It's like a World War II period piece romance between, <laughs> between an active uh, sergeant and uh, that would be really funny. Just like passionate kisses. They're all no! mad. They'll so it's like. Suicide Suicide Squad meets Schindler's List. <laughs> this uh, is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. If we fail, England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German boot. And so I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I'm oh, sorry, but <laughs> the Germans would be <laughs> the Germans to each other would be speaking in English. 
That is not a dog, that is my... <laughs> <laughs> Are reckless. Abort this mission now. Hello, can't hear you. Please do off. <gasps> okay. Yeah, it's like a it's like a very, very much less serious inglorious bastards. Um again it it looks fun to me. <laughs> okay. I, I like to watch World War II shit and, you know, they're going to kill some Nazis. That sounds fun. Uh, it does feel like B-tier slop. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Right there in the B. I'm putting it above the Fall Guy, though, for me. Um, okay. What about... What about... What about Ricky Stanicki? What the fuck is this? Is this a show? Is this a show or is it a movie? Ricky Stanicki. I think it's a movie. Okay. Stanicki, what up, man? Are you serious? Have someone call me when you get out of surgery, all right? You should drive out there. Ricky's been Zach there for you guys your whole back life. back in comedies. The devil's in the details, my friend. <laughs> it worked. Atlantic City, here we come. What we got? Ricky's cancer's back. Why does it have to be cancer? Won't everybody get worried? Yeah. And that's going to take us right into the World Series. To Ricky Stenicki. The best friend we never had. Mm. My baby's going to be born six weeks early. I was born six weeks early. Oh, shit. <laughs> I want to know where the hell you guys were tonight. We called every hospital and there was no record of a Ricky Stanicki. You know, all we did was tell one lie. Hundreds and hundreds of times over many, many years. If the truth does come out, my marriage is over. What if we hire an actor to play Stanicki? Rock hard rod. X-rated rock and roll impersonator. I do a whole act. Wall to wall, top to bottom, jizz jams. Thanks for coming out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So horny to be here. This is a really jizz bad jams. idea. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. I've been cold turkey in the booze. Ricky Stanicki's in the program, remember? Oh, Rod. It's not what you think it is. <laughs> it's just piss. I'm a hyper every time, not my muff. I want you to admit that Ricky Stanicki does not exist. Hey, must hook up! Yes! 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 This is Ted Summerhays, my boss. <laughs> Ted, nice to meet you. Digging the suit in the seedlings, man. The seedlings. The hair plugs are new, right? <laughs> this is my hair. We're gonna lose our jobs. That my best friend. She a real bad on a dance floor. Epic night, am I right, guys? Slurky, she throw it out and come back in. That's my best friend. I was really taken with your friend Stanicki. He's got brass balls on him, that guy. That's why I hired him. That's awesome. You just this, said... This feels, like, say, uh, this feels like a movie that would be made in the early 2000s. I'm kind of charmed by it. They haven't made a, a, a simple comedy like this in a long time. This is, this feels very, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's obviously not going to fucking win the Oscar, but uh, this I feel like I haven't seen a movie like this in a minute. Say it uh, one more time. We can't let him out of our sight. Not only did I miss the birth of my son, but I let some porno Peter Frampton impersonator snip his... And we're done. Stanicki, you are unbelievable. Show's over, Rod. It's Ricky. Ricky Stanicki isn't real. My job sucked. I had no friends. But now I have all those things. <laughs> are you a fraud, sir? What are you talking about? We gotta get rid of him. Can we just say, though, like, we all know that two-thirds of the way through the movie, they're gonna find out that Ricky Stanicki's not real. And the boss is gonna fire him in front of everybody, and he's gonna make a sad face. And they're gonna be like, get out of here, man. And he's gonna leave. And then the friends are gonna be sitting around and like they kind of got away with it and it's over, but they're thinking about it and they miss Ricky. And then they're gonna like go and find him and they're gonna bring him back and then it's gonna end with, like we know that's gonna happen. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, we, we know it's gonna happen. <laughs> Every time he tries to make a point, it's like he's smoking invisible dogs. Dear God, it's true. To support. No, it looks like I'm <laughs> cupping the balls. <laughs> yeah, it's very... Very hangover, super bad vibes kind of thing. Or like um, neighbors, you know. 
Uh, looks funny. Looks fun. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to say it. A. You can call me a hater for that. You can say, but for me, a fun little comedy you can watch with anybody. I'm going to put it in A. Uh, I'll be the brave person to do that. He's a hero. Oh, my God. He's so brave. The film snobs would have wanted him to put it in B or even C. But he put it in A? What a, what a genius. What a hero. Shogun! Final trailer. We could even watch Party It. What if we all watch Ricky Sinicky Watch Party on Prime? When does it come out? Ricky Stanicki release date. March 7th. Chat, you've got yourself a deal. Handshake, March 7th. Prime video. We'll watch Ricky Stanicki together. That'd be kind of fun. I've never done a movie as it releases. Uh... March 7th. I'm going to make sure I'm not double booking myself. March 7th. April, I go to Tahiti. No, I'm good. What? When do I go to Copenhagen with Aiden? I think it's late March. We're good. All right. Uh, what is Shogun? I still want to watch it. Brought you here for a reason. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Maybe. There's a white guy? Yes! S tier. Yes! Shogun with a white guy. White man in Japan. He can teach him something, ideally. Maybe about the art of war. Uh, This is finally a little representation, by the way. You live long enough to find out what it is. I won't die in this wretched land. My master asks what you seek here. To vanquish our common enemies. <laughs> the only way this show could be better is if the white guy like casually invents everything that Japan is later known for. Like, in episode three, if he's like, you guys should try animating <laughs> cartoons. You can call it anime or something. <laughs> like, just, just offhandedly, and they write that down. That would be fucking dope. That would be sick as hell. Dear God, you don't know their games. You <laughs> remember Like, he meets a guy selling playing cards. <laughs> and he's like, what's your name? Nintendo. You know what you should try? Games. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Yes, I think that would be... Oh, can I shoot up? Ultimate rank a mortal can achieve. A lot of sex scenes with that one guy. Shogun. I'm in. I'm in. They said Shogun in the trailer. I'm seeing it. 
Uh, it's got sex. It's got violence. It reminds me of Rome. HBO Rome. <laughs> Is this an HBO series? That would make it a lot better for me if it was HBO. It's FX. Um... This also I've heard about this book. So I was on a hike recently. And someone was talking about this book. I don't know if it's a true story or if it's just a great book, but there was a person. Uh, I mean, you know, the book has a guy who a sailor that crash lands in Japan in them. Um, I'm going to put this for me in a Shogun because I'm going to watch it. It's a hell yeah, it's a classic hell yeah. The tears name is A for hell yeah. Is it a hell yeah for me? Yes. So I'm going to watch it. Um. What about, what else do we have? When I sleep. Uh, oh, Dune part two. I haven't watched this yet. Dune two. <laughs> Don't. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. It's been a while since you've had one of those nightmares. Willy Tell Wonka's me, on Dune? What was it about? It's only fragments. Nothing's clear. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. Look! My family's been fighting them for centuries. It would be cool if they tie, if they were brave enough if the if the spineless executives in Hollywood weren't so fucking cowardly if they tied the universes together. So like at the end of this movie, he loses the war, but he finds like a small planet of Oompa Loompas, <laughs> and at the end he invites him onto his ship and says, "Wait a minute, we could still make it after all." Set course for Earth. I feel like that. I feel like that. A little crossover, that way it's like an expanded universe kind of thing. It comes from dukes and great houses. Here, we're equal. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. I'd very much like to be equal to you. Maybe I'll show you the way. Deal with this prophet. Send assassins. Oh shit. Fade Rotha. He's psychotic. Oh shit. Oh shit! Gladiator scene! Gladiator scene! I see possible futures all at once. And in so many futures, our enemies prevail. But I do see a way. There is a narrow way through. You believe me? This is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. The ultimate power. I want you to know I will love you as long as I breathe. <laughs> you will never lose me as long as I Can I just say, this actually looks pretty good. All right? And I enjoyed the first Dune. Thought people, I don't want to get into it. They overrated a little bit, but I did enjoy it. Uh, I also watched it on a big, uh, a tiny fucking screen. Um, there's not a lot of chemistry here, <laughs> right? <laughs> After seeing her and Tom Holland with that real life actual chemistry in Spider Man, this feels very stilted. If I mean, this feels, and maybe it's more on his side, but he's not. He's not. I will love you as long as I breathe. You will never lose me as long as you stay who you are. Consider what you're about to do, you fool of traders. This prophecy is how they enslave us! You are not prepared for what is to come. Dunk. Where do I put this? Tough call. Tough, 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 tough choice. 
tough choice on this one. So tough for me. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where I put this. This is... I mean, really, for me, this is probably top of B. Maybe for any of that kind of thing. I think Dunk is top of B. Because I rate it, maybe if you're into that kind of thing. Um... Well, this is like my rating, you know? Cause I'm I'm just not I'm not sold, bro. I'm not sold. I I I, probably, I will see it actually. I know I'll see it. So where do I put that? <laughs> I'll put it in the Dune tier. <laughs> there, I'll put it here. It really defies categorization. Uh it really defies categorization. All the bad guys are bald, so it must be good. I do like that. I like the the subtle cue to the audience that you should hate this person because they're bald. Hair, good. Timothy Chalamet has a lot of hair. He's a good guy. Guy without hair, bad. Evil. Uh, no, I mean, uh, the huge fucking sandworm fight looks sick as hell. But, you know, the movie comes out and it's three and a half hours long and I... You know, I'll get CGI fatigue at the two hour mark and I'm not enjoying the characters then TBD, you know, TBD. Uh, but I I do know one thing is I'm going to give this one. It's honest. Do it's shake. I'm going to see it in theaters because I saw the last one on Stan's is fucking uh, <laughs> Michael Scott TV. <laughs> I saw it on this, bro. This is how I watched Dune 1 at Stanza's house from a couch on the opposite side of the room. And so I didn't enjoy it. But I, I think if I fucking see it in a theater, maybe I'll maybe I'll give it its its honest due. Yeah, as the director intended. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, that looks hype. What about... I don't want to watch. Oh, Kung Fu Panda 4. Kung Fu Panda 4... It is time to take the next step on your journey. I'm not going to be the dragon warrior anymore. You will advance to spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. Inner peace. Inner peace. Keep your surf off my turf! Dinner, please. Dinner with peas in a sesame soy glaze. This is not working at all. <laughs> tai Lung, big fan. Once I possess the kung fu of every master villain, no one will dare question my power. Not even the great dragon warrior. Who's that? The most powerful shape-shifting sorceress, the chameleon. How do I find this, the chameleon? I'm gonna lead you right to her front door. Yeah! It was against an army. Yeah! Then we'll just have to get an army of our own. What is this place? The best crooks and criminals live here. You're a wanted criminal? You sound surprised. My only problem with this movie and uh, most animated films is that every character is not voiced by Aquafina. I wish they would fire Jack Black and let Aquafina play Poe and all of the characters and the villain. Do you know what I'm saying? Or are you guys not film heads like me? I think. I feel like it would add more dynamism. Um, surprise. Is it surprising? Now you kids be careful of those fireworks. <laughs> Aquafina and Chris Pratt in every animated movie is my dream. Violence <laughs> makes our tummies tingle. Why should we help you? We can take down the chameleon together. Being the dragon warrior, like it's who I am. Right? <laughs> what do I know about being a spiritual leader? What is it you're holding? Ari loves the Kung Fu Panda movies, and I saw her uh, watching an interview of Jack Black practicing his skadoosh <laughs> on the TV. She was just sitting on the couch watching Jack Black talk about how he practices his skadoosh. So she's ready. I mean, for her, this is S plus tier. Can't miss. Cookie? You were chosen to become something more than you already are. 
How should we do this? Quick and painless? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or slow and painful? Slow and painful! You finally met your match, Chameleon. We're not so different, <laughs> you and I. Our name is Chameleon. Stand back. <laughs> I'm gonna kick my butt. <laughs> you got in on a fart joke. Uh, where do we put that? That's that's well. <laughs> here's the thing. For me, it is already here. <laughs> do you understand? Because he farted at the end, first of all, and then second of all, I can't skip it because I will be seeing it with Ari. So if this is my list, it is a it is the definition of a must see. Uh, if mm. so, we're gonna skip some of these because they're already out, and we've already seen them. All right, we haven't seen if yet though. All right, I'll see what that is. She is the perfect fit, I promise. Did she even see you? She was about to. Is she proud? What are you doing? <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> no, no, no. Hi. Oh, God. <laughs> this is just so exciting. Jim? What is happening? Well, that's a perfectly understandable question given now. I'm an if. Get it? Imaginary? Friend? Our kids grew up. So we need new ones. You could save all of us. All of who? And don't say ifs. Let him say it or I think his head may actually explode. Ifs. Thank you. Are you ready for this? It's like a seal by the there's no telling who's behind that door today. Monsters ain't ass. We have to help them. Yes, we do. I'm not gonna ask you again. Put some pants on. You're freaking everyone out. Starting to see why Sam I live Rockwell. alone. Cheat! Kind of a kid creates an invisible if. Don't, uh, don't Aquafina, look him in the go. eye. Which one? You know damn well which one. Thanks for doing this. It really means a whole lot. <laughs> uh, Where do we put that? I'm really, I'm not super interested, but a lot of good actors in it. Maybe it's funny. They all have little ifs. They all do their little lines. Uh, it's, I mean, that's almost a D for me. <laughs> it's almost a D, but I guess it's not like fucking Morbius. All right, I'll put if and C. Uh, I'll put in C. I'll put in C. I'll put in C. Let's see. Uh, what about the bike riders? You and me, kid. From the beginning? Yes, please. Okay. That was the golden age of bike riders. And I never felt so out of place in all my life. That's when I saw him for the first time. He took my breath away. I'm Benny. Five weeks later, I married him. I thought I could change him, you know? Not to be different, but to be, I don't know, like he's wild. Hey! I told you to take that jacket off. You'd have to kill me to get this jacket off. Flashbacks or what? What about 
about the bar? Find it out. The club got real big real fast. They started running drugs, gambling, prostitution. Is that what this club is now? I want you to quit writing. Don't ask that. Benny. I need you. They can't have him. If he wants to ride a bike, you ride a bike. Hey, you know, just, just think it over, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna sound crazy here, uh, but I think Tom Hardy has good movie selection. <laughs> like, if he trusts the script, I trust the script. <laughs> so I'm actually, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's been a good barometer of quality outside of Venom, outside of Venom, which is very clearly a one for them, one for me studio trade, make a little squeesh. Very obviously Venom is for him to make some money, okay? Um, but outside of that, I don't think I've seen a Tom Hardy film I didn't like. So I'm gonna put this Hmm. I think I'm gonna put this in the Dune tier. <laughs> what was that called? This is called the Bike Riders. This is going in the Dune tier, uh, where it belongs. The Bike Riders, classic Dune tier movie. Uh, Argyle. The fuck is Argyle? Argyle. I hope you dance as well. Okay. I certainly hope you dance as well as you oh, dress. Oh, it's already out? All right, then fuck it. Was it good? Trailer is better than the film? Yikes. No flop. All right. Skip it. Now, we got... Oh, we already watched the Garfield movie trailer, didn't we? <laughs> Let's watch it again. Just for Chris Pratt. You know what I'm saying? He deserves it. If there's anyone in Hollywood that needs a helping hand, it's Chris Pratt. Let's not skip him over. Oh. Oh. Hi there, little buddy. Hungry little guy? <laughs> you want a little more? And there that's he is. how I adopted you. There he is. <laughs> okay, now have you ever been with a plate? <laughs> Don't eat a spatula. No, please, no. Ow, it's so hot. Ow, it's really hurting. Ow, ow, ow. You deserve to be saved. somebody is back. Say when? Never, you. John. Bury me in cheese. Oh. I apologize in advance. The eating you're about to see will not be pretty. And if you have young children, this would be a good time for them to leave the room. You ain't <laughs> never seen nobody this oh. Why was Garfield doing a pitch perfect Mario impression there? That was like, it was incredible. It was like the perfect Mario. It sounded exactly the same. <laughs> Almost as if it had like some common thread of a person speaking in monotone in their own voice. Hey, Junior, this is Vic, my father. You ever jumped a train? I've never jumped. Here's that stop. Really? Where? <laughs> oh, Odie, you think he'd see that coming? Let's get it. I deserve to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
where do we put that masterpiece? S plus plus? Something above S here? Uh, for me, that is the first D movie. I will not be seeing Garfield. That one, I for sure will not be seeing. Uh, I'm not going to toss it in Dune tier. <laughs> I will not be seeing Garfield, okay? I will pi yeah, I'll pirate that one. You put that below the bike one? Yes, I put that below the bike one, bro. A hundred percent. I put that below a true story starring Tom Hardy. Yeah, I put Chris Pratt as Garfield. You know what's fucked about that one? I think I mentioned this last time. The giving Garfield a backstory and and like a an arc. It's not what I want from my Garfield. I want him to be sarcastic and annoying. <laughs> I don't want to sympathize with him. I don't want him to be cute. I don't. I want Garfield to be hating Mondays. He didn't hate Mondays once. Uh, he did eat lasagna, but that's all right. What about what about Wanted Man? You have to save yours and our reputation. The DEA murders in Silverado. Remember that? Yeah, two undercover agents killed in a drug buy. We're DEA! I got the marshals to agree to send you down and bring those two witnesses back here. Sometimes I mess around with movie lines. You looking at me? Mm-hmm. Somebody else around here? Uh -oh. oh shit. <laughs> so it's Dolph longer. <laughs> Get a doctor fix you up the right way. <laughs> this is my brother. It's dangerous. Oh, like... The longer we here, the more danger for your family. Johnson has a few lives left. He's a strong one. She can help so This is the only movie in 2024 that's going straight to DVD. <laughs> You can find this at a gas station, okay? 100%. Oh, who killed those DEA agents? In America, we can protect you. You can. Te van a encontrar, Rosa. Te van a matar, vas a que te maten nomás. I saw what happened that night, and they know it. So who do you know that you trust that you can call? Trust is hard. So many questions, my friend. Is that Fraser? <laughs> is that Fraser? Am I crazy? Kelsey Grammer. If you yeah. want to fight with the wolves, you gotta be a wolf. Been saying that. Yeah, yeah. Someone said that's gonna go hard in thirty parts on TikTok when you skip a couple. Uh, it's a skip, right? I'm not gonna boycott it, but what was that called? I don't think I'm gonna watch that. Wanted man, wanted man, bro. I am realizing, like, you know, there was a writer's strike last year, <laughs> so a lot of these movies we're gonna be starting to scrape the bottom of the barrels. We get past the few big hits. Uh, what about Madam Web? I haven't seen this. Madam Web. Okay, Man and Web. Hey, come on. Get your stuff. Let's go. <gasps> oh, shit. Let's try that again. She's got time travel powers? A week ago, I spent my life racing against time. I'm gonna help you out today, okay? Trying to save people who are running out of it. Get ready! Until one moment changed everything. Spider Come on! Welcome back to the land that we're living. I don't understand what's happening. I've been having vision. I knew he was gonna die. Okay, it's vision. It's uh, I think Spidey I'm sense. seeing the future. New York City is a whole new level of crazy these days. What do you want from me? What do you want? 
York City is a whole new level of crazy these days. <laughs> this is an emergency. Get off the train. That man's trying to kill you. <laughs> what? Who are you? What is going on? I can see the future. Oh, what the hell? She didn't see that coming? That's <laughs> not how it works. She's I've seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. Wait, I recognize you. You live in my building. You're the paramedic. Yeah, you almost ran me over. You don't think this is weird? How we're all connected? It's honestly like the least weird thing that's happened all day. What do you want from me? You have no idea what those girls are coming. Why don't you want from me? I think he can see into the future. He's trying to change what happens. Julia, get down! Why aren't you scared of me? Why do you care for me? Your future was almost so different. Why do we go? If you want to live, you have to trust me. Believe. You're showing off. Maybe a little. We don't have to say it. All right. We all <laughs> we are all in agreement. Done. Easy. <laughs> it's like obviously. Okay. I mean, you can just tell. The acting, the cinematography, the storyline, the plot. Um Everyone wishes we had more um, superhero movies in general, let alone ones that are kind of like <laughs> mid. Uh, I think uh, that is, how would you say that? M more, <laughs> I'm trying, you know how Morbius has boy in it? I'm trying to change the boy to girl, <laughs> but it doesn't, it doesn't flow well. It's more girly. <laughs> you understand? That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, girlbius. It's girlbius. Um, and I'm going to have to put that down there where I put Morbius, which is a D tier. I will not be seeing that movie. Madam Web, unfortunately, uh, not, 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 not doing it for me. Um, Arthur the King. What about the Bricklayer? The Bricklayer. One Madam Million Dollars profit. Yeah, it'll make a ton of money for sure. Guaranteed. Okay, we should all tell the studio we'll do that. Well, I hold a brick in my hand. <laughs> okay. I know exactly what it is. Dude, what is this? What is the beekeeper and the bricklayer and the why are they just picking random blue collarish jobs and then making them into action heroes? <laughs> what is the what's the fucking just the occupation and it's some like you know strong jaw dude? Yeah. And what it will do. It is a dad movie. Its form is its function. That gives me peace. Harvey Dent! Can I help you? I'm the bricklayer. Can we trust him? Sir, this is urgent. What am I looking at? Victor Raddick. We need to bring Vale out of retirement. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Animal friends. This is legitimately the exact plot of the beekeeper, right? He's a, he's a retired secret agent that is now working as a beekeeper. And then they, it's like exactly the same. Uh, with a different profession. Stop by to say hello. Someone's trying to blackmail the CIA. He can bring down our entire global network. That's why I want you to go to Greece to fix it with her. It's a big assignment for you. First time in the field, no supervisors. I'm the supervisor. Of course you are. Romance interest assigned as supervisor? That's all. This is like every cliche in the book. So what's our move? I have to find him and end this. The director of Cliffhanger and the worst Die Hard. <laughs> That's your fucking... Oh, no, dude. You 
you should have stayed where you were. Because now that you're back, it's going to be hard for you to leave again. Clearly. <laughs> Has there ever been one movie where the guy tries to do that and just gets shot? Where the action star goes, hmm, clearly, and then tries to knock the gun out of the hand and the guy just moves it slightly to the left and shoots him? Because it, ne it never, it never, ever, 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 ever would work like that. Uh, this is, this is, this is not good. John Brick is very funny, you. though. Not to get involved. You can't hide from me. I'll never, ever stop coming. <laughs> oh, well, let's clone next time. Yes, dear. That's your funniest line? Usually you put like the most funny line at the end of the trailer. That was it? Yes, dear? <laughs> uh, this is... I think even my dad might pass on this. This seems pretty bad. We're going on a manhunt, not building a chimney. <laughs> Never do a job without my tools. <laughs> Never mind, it's S tier. Never mind, it actually fucks, dude. He literally uses the bricklaying tools in the other job. As an agent, he actually he's gonna kill people with bricks and bricklaying tools. That's actually S plus, bro. That's the most writer strike movie I've seen in a minute. That is so formulaic. Challengers? Oh, <laughs> is this the one where Tom Holland gets cucked IRL? <laughs> it's like, this is like the fucking... <laughs> yeah, let's watch it. Uh... Hi. Hey. Tashi Duncan. Just gonna turn a whole family into millionaires. I have a fashion line, a foundation. You were incredible today. Thank you. I mean, it wasn't even like tennis. It was an entirely different game. Hey, come hang out with us later. Want me to come tuck you in? No, we can just keep talking. How often does this happen? Going after the same girl? Not as often as you think. We usually have different types. So you're saying I should be flattered? Aren't you everybody's type? Yeah. Which one of us? <laughs> the plot of this movie is that Dada has a threesome, that's it? He's not in love with you. What makes you think I want someone to be in love with me? It's nice to see you lit up about something, even if it's my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, shit. Or he's got his coach, Tashi Donaldson, who also is his wife. I'm playing for both of us, Tashi. I think maybe we're disturbed by the fact that she could have been into someone like me. When we were teenagers. When we were teenagers. Hey, I love you. I know. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what tennis is. It's a relationship. We went somewhere really beautiful together. I'm taking such good care of my little white boys. <laughs> I assume you planned this? Not this part. <laughs> this movie is... Yeah. <laughs> that line sold me. I don't know what to think. I, I almost need a review on that one. I don't know. It's it's an odd plot to me, but uh, right now I'm probably going to put it in C for me. But I don't know. I could see. I could enjoy it. Uh, Challengers. Is it a true story? Maybe there's something there? Uh... 
The guy who wrote that movie is the guy that made the strongest potions YouTube video. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the strongest potions means. We already watched this one last time. Drive away dolls. I don't know what that is. Let's try drive away dolls. Let's see. Potion seller. Everyone knows. Everyone knows what this is. I'm I'm missing something here. Potion seller YouTube video. Hello, potion. This is three minutes long, and everybody knows what this is. And this is very culturally important, much like the last one where you guys told me, you know, like, what's 9 plus 10 or whatever? 21? You stupid. And you guys were like, this is the fucking greatest. This is <laughs> the statue of David. This is fucking the Mona Lisa. This is culturally important. This is a touchstone. Okay. All right. This is the same potion seller. All right. Let's watch it. Hello, potion seller. I am going into battle, and I want your strongest potions. My potions are too strong for you, traveler. Potion seller, I tell you I'm going into battle, and I want only your strongest potions. You can't handle my potions. They're too strong for you. <laughs> potion seller listen to me I want only your strongest potions <laughs> oh you broke my potions would kill you traveler you cannot handle my potions potion seller enough of these games I'm going into battle and I need your strongest potions <laughs> my strongest potions will kill you traveler you can't handle my strongest potions. One more time, you better go to a seller that sells weaker potions. <laughs> Potion seller, I'm telling you right now, I'm going into battle, and I need only your strongest potions. Oh, does he? You don't know what you ask, traveler. My strongest potions will kill a dragon, let alone a man. You need a seller that sells weaker potions. Because my potions are too strong. <laughs> Potion seller, I'm telling you, I need your strongest potions. Oh my God. I'm going into are battle. I'm going to battle and I need your strongest <laughs> potions. You can't handle my strongest potions. No one can. My strongest potions are fit for a beast, let alone a man. Well, I guess. Potion seller, what do I have to tell you to get your potions? Why won't you trust me with your strongest potions, potion seller? I need them if I'm to be successful in the battle. I can't give you my strongest potions because my strongest potions are only for the strongest beings and you are of the weakest. How long is this video? It's another hour and a half. Well, then that's it, potion seller. I'll go elsewhere. I'll go elsewhere for my potions. That's what you'd better do. I'll go elsewhere for my potions and I'll never come back. Good. You're not welcome here. My potions are only for the strongest and you're clearly not of the strongest. You're clearly the weakest. <laughs> You've had your say, potion seller, but I'll have mine. You're a rascal. <laughs> You're a rascal with no respect for knights. Are you guys fucking serious? No respect for anything. <laughs> except your potions. Why respect knights? When my potions can do anything that you can. This explains so much about you. <laughs> this being a key pillar of culture for you explains so much. Uh, how many views does that have? 40 million? 11 million views 12 years ago. This is the only good video on the internet. This right here is the only good video on the entire internet. 
this influenced me a lot more than it should have. This guy wrote challengers. <laughs> She's gonna make a quick edit to my tier list. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to watch the fucking potion seller. Imagine, unless he comes in in the middle of the movie during the threesome and starts handing out his strongest potions. That would be a twist. Then I would then I would watch it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> The comments are pretty funny. Uh... Why respect knights when my potions can do anything you can? That hit different. 6,000 upvotes. <laughs> <laughs> I love how this guy spends the better part of three minutes reiterating on the same exchange. But between the acting, the faces, and the variations in phrasing, it's somehow captivating. This is a masterpiece. Truly a work of art and something that will last forever. <laughs> when the two worst role players in the group get into an in-character debate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's actually true. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Oh, Cohen Brothers? Wait. The case, Santos. Not on your life. Hello, girls. We're just even coming in. Last body shot competition, so we are gonna salt you up. I've had it with love. I don't believe it's relevant to the 21st century lesbian. You're not wearing that. I just came from work. I came from Toledo. I don't dress like it. I'm not here to peddle my wares. I'm leaving town. I am too. That was my plan. Where are you going? Tallahassee, Florida. I've been unhappy. That's why we take this trip together, honey babe. We get our act together together. Curly's drive away. Pennsylvania's most trusted name in car delivery. Curly here. Don't call me Curly. And your name Curly? My name is Curly. We just met. It's too familiar. We're here for the car. Wait a minute. You call with a drop-off in Tallahassee, and then these broads come in and say they're ready to go to Tallahassee. They drive the car instead of you. Is that bad? Bad if they find the goods. Oh, oh shit. What? You should see what's in here. I bet it's locked. I understand that you're unhappy, sir. We will find and deliver the package. We just want your friends. <laughs> you cannot relate to the public, which in the service profession is a big handicap. Did the two creeps find you? They know we have their stuff. Maybe we sell it back, shake them down. Are they like wanted or something? Oh no, they're not in trouble at all. <laughs> I'm gonna help you break a big murder case. That is about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And I'm a cop. <laughs> Who are you? Democrat. Wow, you had a full day. I'll see it for sure. I'll put in a. Uh, I, I just trust uh, Ethan Cohen. It reminds me of Fargo. It reminds me of like, I don't know, all those kind of. Um, a little bit. Of, what was that Matt Damon movie where he's uh, the informant? Reminds me of that. I like those movies. I'll put a name. Uh, what was it called? Drive Away Dolls. Drive Away Dolls. All right. Let's see. Imaginary. I don't know if I want to watch that. Love Lies Bleeding. The American Society of Magical Negroes. 
Is that... <laughs> okay. Can you even order a ticket for that? That's what it's called, bro. <laughs> I right. know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. Wait, is it based on a Key and Peele sketch? I'll definitely see it. Key and Peele rules. I've been watching... Uh, Ari has never seen Key and Peele, so I've been putting on some sketches. Is it TOS? Is it TOS? They're saying this is TOS, or are they saying, oh, Chad's just being dumb. All right, classic. Okay. I was saying there, uh, okay, if there's something in the trailer, it's TOS, but I don't think there would be. Not on YouTube. Right, well. Watching you walk through a room full of white people was the most painful thing I've ever seen. Just kidding. Sorry. I don't want to take you to a job interview. There's a recruiting class starting right now, and we got to get you in it. <laughs> Welcome to the American Society. Oh, it's like Black Harry Potter. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of hype. Wait, that's kind of hype. Of magical Negroes. Or like Black well, King's really video. It's easier to show. What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Sure. White people, when they feel <laughs> uncomfortable. White people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. That's why we fight white discomfort every day. Because the happier they are, the safer we are. The name needs a little updating, maybe like magical black people or something. Yeah, that's, that my, that's my feedback as well. You ready? Oh, wow. Your first client is a Jason Munt. His morale is far too low. Hey. Hey. Darn it. I was hoping there was a station right next to him. Oh, is this one spoken for? No. Yeah, it's actually fun and weirdly relaxing. It's like being oh, a... Oh, it's not Black Harry Potter. It's like literally about the, the, the movie trope of the magical black guy <laughs> like uh like will smith in that matt damon golf movie uh <laughs> okay yeah 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 legend of bagger vance yeah 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 or the green mile it's about the movie trope of the magical black guy that shows up and solves or gives the white guy the solution okay interesting 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 Secret agent with none of the danger. Hey, yeah, I'm Lucy. Nice, nice to meet you. She's great. Yeah, she's cool. You kidding? Come on, man. She's smart and funny. And... I know what you were doing going on about her. You're trying to set us up. No, no, no. That's not what I was doing. You cannot have a relationship with Lizzie now because if you don't put Jason first, everyone's magic will fail. That's gonna I've be a problem. I've always felt like it's my job to make white people feel comfortable, and here it literally is. But maybe it shouldn't be. I got a great plan to ask her out, but I'm gonna need your help. Do you think you can like work your magic? Hey, is he talking about me? Hey. Oh my god. Wait, are you? But I traveled a long way. Someone defied the society. Who was it? You didn't let her go like I told you. If you interfere with her or your client, you could have your memory erased. You won't even remember she existed. Even though we might never see each other again, I need you to know that what we had was real. I'm curious to see how you're going to make it out of all this. It's a funny Peter idea. Barrett. It's a funny concept. I I'm going to put it in Dune tier because I don't really know. Kind of need a review on that one. Uh, but that, that, that was a very spoilery trailer. <laughs> Can I be honest? I feel like I... I feel like not once they revealed it was a rom-com and they started showing it, like they kind of just showed me everything. They gave me the beat by beat. Um, uh, what is this one? The painter? Is this gonna be the same thing? The painter? Excuse me. My name is Sophia, and my mom called you Peter. Biometric watch. Contains a hard drive with sole access to his contacts, stolen intel, and we want it all back. Are you joking? She wanted you to find someone named Peter. My name's Mark. I wish I could be more help. You were CIA like my mom. Right? <laughs> Dude, three for fucking three? X CIA blue. I mean, the painter's not even a blue collar job, but he's got the blue collar fucking flannel. That's fucking crazy.
They, I literally think a bunch of desperate studios all chat GPT the same prompt. <laughs> we need a quick action movie about it. And they all got fucking riffs in the same thing. That's crazy. You're a really good painter. Oh, hey, kid, stop. Those are private. I just want to see if he kills someone with a paintbrush. This is my mom. So you do know her. Go upstairs. Last door and left the bathroom. Lock the door and get in the tub. He's got super hearing. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> you are Peter Barrett. How'd you find me? What do you know about Peter Barrett? The painter? We murdered eight <laughs> federal agents in cold blood. What? I am looking for someone. <laughs> Tom White is old, Where man. Can I trust you? Two agents. Tom White is too old to still be acting. He could be president, but he can't still be acting. It, 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 yeah, this guy is old Should now. Step today, asking about you. Okay, this is TV production. This is TV production. Uh, Tell me about the people who came to kill me. She thinks that you're in possession of something that poses a major threat to our national security. I'm gonna find out who took your mother away from you. And then? And then? He'll do what he does. Mind if I borrow a few things? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it looks so bad! Oh my god, it looks like paint! That's a trailer shot? <laughs> Do this, kid. Well, that's an S tier unskippable. Uh, I'm gonna hide it from the world down in D tier, but rest assured, the we painter mania is gonna sweep the nation. People will be talking about painter. Uh, I feel like I've seen fight scenes better in an episode of Law and Order SVU. <laughs> that looked that was painful, bro. Uh, Craven the Hunter, we've seen this one. The Underdogs. America loves a superstar. Oh? oh yeah. I'm Jason, two J's Jennings. <laughs> I think we watched this. <laughs> it is the premise that Snoop Dogg was a professional NFL player. Snoop Dogg with his frame and build was a professional NFL player. Uh, all-star. A football legend. But once you reach the mountaintop of greatness, everybody wants to see you fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two days this guy smoked. Damn! You pled guilty to charges of speeding and damage to city property. I'm recommending community service with the Long Beach Recreations Department. I thought I was getting like some Martha Stewart kind of treatment. You too good for the community that raised you. From the depths of the sea, back to the black snoop doggy dog, don't forget the, the, the doc. I am football legend, Jason 2J's Jennings, your new head coach. Legend. Let me get a picture with y'all real quick for Twitter. Some of y'all gonna get some girlfriends and put this right here. Keys. Kareem, Jason, I've been trying to get back in touch with you for years. No, you've been thinking about me, and I know you've been trying to get in touch with me. I can't skip pretty a much right. You just movie. put a gun in my head. Relax, Jay. The safety was on. Oh no, it wasn't on. What? Hmm. Imagine that. Before we can be the best, we gotta master the fundamentals. Yeah, bad news bears with two dogs. <laughs> Pretty boy, you missing pass after pass. You got on all that sweet ass swag. The next time you come out here acting like a fake ass rapper, we gonna kick your ass off the field. Stop acting like you got an album coming out. JJ, how you liking this game? Coach, this is a mess. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you remember what you were like when you showed up freshman year? You were a pain in the ass. I don't owe nobody nothing. You sound just like me. If you really want to win a game, stop pushing away your team. Go! Like the team are called the underdogs with two G's in the in the in the movie. They're not even hiding that he's Snoop Dogg. He is Snoop Dogg in the movie. <laughs>
They're not even bothering to like keep the universe of his character. He just is Snoop Dogg. This is S tier. <laughs> we'll be watching it. It was like a black princess lair. <laughs> underdogs on three, underdogs on me. Uh, One, two, three. What's my name? Oh, yeah. I got your mascots right here. Beat Killer and Skrilla. Two dogs for two G's. I found them chained up in the back of the winter snitch. <laughs> that, that was a good trailer face. <laughs> you could cut that anywhere. Uh, what was that called? Underdogs? Yeah, that's, that's S tier for me. Underdogs. That and Kung Fu Panda are the two best films we've watched so far. The Terrifier 3? No, we skipped that. Race for Glory. Oh my god, what is this movie? Oh, that's the Terrifier. Okay. Yeah, scary. Okay, All we right. are recording. The World Rally Championship has become the number one TV sport in the world. We're joined by Lancia team manager, Cesare Fiorio. Rallying is like war, and I'm the commander of an army. Whoa. Why is there a new Car Guy movie every year now? Is that is this just it? There was like five years of none, and now there is a Car Guy movie every year for Car Guys. <laughs> oh, there's so many goddamn Car Guys now. Walter. Ah, uh, just it. You've got a competitive car this year? Yeah. Very incredible car. Central engine, light car, very special material. We're definitely in a Four Car drive? Guy era. No, no, no. no. Two is right. You can't beat them with a normal car. Yes, we can. If you drive it. Give me one good reason why I should accept. Because we are the underdogs. Joe Chisholm. Chisholm thinks uh, you can challenge us without a four wheel drive. <laughs> it's better with ice, don't you think? I present the new Lancia 037. You still think that the Germans are only technology and organization, don't you? Don't believe all the cliches, Fiorio. Welcome to the opening of the 51st Monte Carlo Rally. Rallying is a dangerous sport. Does anything frighten you? One thing. Losing. Oh, oh, oh. Now we have the second stage in Tosca. Let's go. With that car, you will never win against me. The driver, why do they risk their lives? Death is afraid of those who pursue it. To win, I'll do whatever I have to do. I'll only do six races. Take it or leave it. Launcher, Audi, lay it all out in one last stage. Walter, you must recover ten seconds. It's now or never. Push, push, push. Okay. I'm just thinking. About what? Cars. Winning. I'll be honest with you. It's a skip for me. But if you're a car guy and you want to watch Race for Glory, Audi versus Lancia, uh, I'm happy for you. I think you're going to fucking love it. If you watch Ford versus Ferrari and just literally creamed your jorts while watching it, this is going to be right up your alley. It's going to be more of that. The engineers in the car is going to work with the driver and they're going to overcome impossible odds to win when nobody thought it was possible. It's going to be it's going to be so sick, bro. Um Throw it in Dune Tier. <laughs> I'm not going to throw every movie in Dune Tier. All right, well, probably one more. The Book of Clarence or Which Brings Me to You. Are these the only movies available? What about A24? A24, you got movies. A24 trailers. I feel like we... The uh, Problemista. Love Lies Bleeding. 2.3 million views. The Iron Claw. Think about Civil Wars. We have watched it before, but I guess... I don't remember it that well. I remember it was funny. We could end with Civil War. All right, let's see Civil War. 19 states. Because I think it's going to be relevant. You know, it's going to be relevant for this year. States have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. 
Let me know if you want to try anything on. Are you guys aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America? We just try to stay out <laughs> with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's so stupid. America has a civil war, and the and the states that team up are Texas and California, Texicali. That's our civil war. What do we divide upon? Have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Both of them were collectively mad that the president was too young. <laughs> they wanted different people, but they both agreed the president had to be fucking old. And so when Nick Offerman got elected, Texas and California shook hands and said, we got to get out of here, okay? We cannot have a 50 or 60 year old president that is far too fucking inexperienced. We're moving to DC today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. Bloody. Every time I survived a war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind when you make YouTube videos, um, there's like a, a pattern you can notice where um, if you have the right title and thumbnail, the video can actually be pretty mid and it can still do super well. <laughs> if the title and thumbnail just hits, whatever you actually put in the video doesn't almost even matter as long as it delivers on the promise, like at least somewhat. This is that. <laughs> This is a movie called Civil War during a contentious election year. It, like, it's an interesting premise, and this will make money and do well on its budget. But the movie itself will be, I think, obviously extremely mid. Uh, kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, okay? <laughs> okay. I do like him. What though. kind of American are you? <laughs> you don't know? Jesse Plemons goaded. <laughs> Go to villain. The Western forces will reach the White House on July 4th. Oh my god. Get in the car! Get in the car! Move, move, move! You're gonna hang back. I'm not hanging back. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go, 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 go. God bless America. I wonder what I'm in like what the movie is going to present as the reason for the civil war. Cuz they're not doing it on political lines. Clearly, like they're not doing it on Republican Democrats or whatever. So what are they going to do? Oh, it's just a third-term president. It's just states' rights. That's it. So the president just wanted to keep a third term. So so in this movie, the states that are seceding are the good guys? This sounds dog shit. <laughs> You're thinking way too much right now? All right, well, I mean, I just want to understand the premise of the movie. If they're going to make a movie about an American Civil War and then just brush over the, like, how it happened, that's crazy. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares why they're fighting, all right? Just enjoy the dumb slop. Uh, I just think that's crazy. All right, well, where do we put that? Where do we put that in our tier list? Because we've basically finished it, so... Are we putting that in the Dune tier? <laughs> we'll put it in the Dune tier. All right. That about 
wraps it up. And any of these you disagree with, just swap it to the Dune tier until you agree, okay? So if you don't like that the painter is down here, just pretend it's in the Dune tier. If you don't like the underdogs is up here, put it in the Dune tier. Easily done. And therefore, by that logic, we can... Oh, wait, well, Avatar Shutter. Watch the Avatar Shutter. We'll watch the Avatar Shutter, and I'll thank you for the gifties. Thank you, I am Jensen, for the gifted. Um... Let me see the, the Avatar trailer. Avatar The Last Airbender official trailer. Let's see what we got. The Fire Nation is embarked on a dark path. And the world might never recover. The world needs the Avatar. It needs you, man. They keep trying to suck. The Fire Nation has destroyed everything in their path. If the world is going to have any chance, it's going to need Aang. Right. There goes the savior of the world. Chase down every hint of the Avatar. It's my destiny. I'm not someone who can stop the Fire Nation. I don't want the responsibility. You don't have to do this alone. You have me, <laughs> Tara, and a flying ball of fur. It's just, this guy can't act. <laughs> Holy shit. I, what, what, this just, I, I'm not trying to be me here. This guy can't act, bro. This, is everyone the first take that didn't give me one more? This is pulling me out of the, the I mean, it's, I'm already like. What more do you need? <laughs> the world needs you. Remember what it is we're really fighting for. The ones we love. I'm the Avatar, and I'm gonna save the world. <laughs> With my friends. I'll very politely say that is not for me. <laughs> I'll say you can't even you don't know my opinion. I'm not gonna tell you my opinion. Maybe I liked it. I'll just say uh I don't think I'll watch it. I'll watch I love the original. I love the original. Avatar's fucking amazing. I I doesn't need that, right? I don't I didn't watch the Aladdin remake either, all right? Uh Is there any more than this, or are we good? I think that's good. I think that's good. I think that's chill. Um, just got here. Why is it so bright? The same amount of brightness as always. Three body problem. We watched that. Gladiator 2. Is there a trailer? Wait, did we watch that yet? Gladiator 2 trailer. I don't remember if we watched this. Nine days ago? Oh, shit. Oh, shit! As the curtains fall on Maximus' epic, Lucius steps into the spotlight of destiny. Maximus thought he could change the world, but everything is worse after his sacrifice. That sucks. Kind of undercut the end of the last movie. In the Symphony of Battles, my father's legacy resonates. Timeless melody of heroism. This is what he wants. Is this a fake trailer? I was... <laughs> I 
Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. This is like so badly edited. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wait, wow. They're, they're absolutely One. dropping the ball on this fucking... Uh, but yeah, that Denzel cut. Okay. Damn, that has 2.3 million views. That's crazy. In nine days from Darth trailer. Wait, these are all fake. <laughs> Wait, there's so many fake trailers here. Dude, he, he's done this like three times. Look, he's got, it's like fucking AI generated Pedro Pascal, 2.5 million views, 3.6 million views. Bro, he's farmed like 10 million views on fake Gladiator 2 trailers. That's crazy. Is this real? Pop has <laughs> AI generated Will Smith as Popeye? <laughs> In a world where spinach is mightier than the sword. In the heart of the sea, where a strong sailor sails. Riding through the waves with a thunderous roar. Discover the uncharted horizons. Where the world reveals wonders. This is all from the Rock and the Jungle Cruise movie. Prepare for the tide. He faces the challenges. And his spirit unyielding. <laughs> I just want to see how they're going to reveal Popeye. Join oh. the journey of Popeye. <laughs> Sailor Man. <laughs> Is that supposed to be Will Smith? Is that supposed to be Will? What the fuck? The spinach loving sailor. <laughs> S plus plus. Tear. Popeye, the Sailor Man, live action. Can't miss media. Must watch. Do not skip. In a world where spinach is mightier than the sword, fucking chills. <laughs> fucking chills, dude. Um, uh, I guess fucking Zoomers want to watch Mega Mind Two. Hello, loyal viewers. For those who are just joining us, that's me, Megamind, master of all villainy. Until I realized my destiny was to be a superhero. Megamind is back. Pause. Pause. My destiny. Pause. Is that the exact same? Wait, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, how do I sort by... Okay, I downloaded a Blender asset of a building. <laughs> you know, a default Blender asset of a building. Very similar, bro. Very fucking similar. Uh... He was to be a superhero. Megamind is back. I'm kind of a big deal. And you're welcome. You're awesome. Lucky to have me as your hero. Wow. 
You were threatening the city a few days ago. Now you're defending it. I want to be a crime fighter, just like you. You're adorable in a pushy sort of way. Here's a souvenir. It's either a paperweight or a flash grenade. So careful with that. From DreamWorks Animation. The dudes and... They didn't have the balls to say real grenade? I'm not going to watch this. They didn't have the balls for the villain to say grenade. He had to make it a flash grenade. Also, the animation looks like I made it in my class. I skip. I skip, I skip, I skip. Terrible, terrible, terrible. What about Despicable Me 4? <laughs> 12 days ago, things just got a little bit more despicable. Are you ready for peak? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Drew, what's up? Drew, it's so funny. Three girls, one wife. Something is missing. This guy. Oh, there's my boy. I know you love your dada. Canonical oh, Drew had sex. Dada. Dada. That's correct. Yeah. Of course he loves you. He just he just doesn't show it on his face. Or with his body language. <laughs> right, Gru Jr., come on. Gru, I need a word with you. Your family's lives are at stake. What? Maxine Lamal has escaped from prison. I'm coming for my revenge, Gru! <laughs> we have to get to the safe house. It has a vendor machine! Oh. I love this place! Look out! Yes! The most important part of a heist is being aware of potential dangers. I tried myself. Just say banana one time. <laughs> that is funny. Obviously, I'm still going to see it 10 times because it. I can't get enough of those minions. Plus, I'm going to take photos. I'm going to take screenshots of the minions doing funny little things so I can have um, good image macros for Facebook. Because I've been running low on my current supply. So I need to get them like inventing machine and being like me when I don't have my coffee. You know, <laughs> like, I can't. It's going to fucking slay on FB. You guys don't get it. Uh. Can I see your sweater, Big A? Sure. You can see it. You can see it. You can see all of it. There it is. Nice field. A nice empty field. Um, That, I believe, is all the movies. Wait, one more. Sorry, one more. You're an alien. You're super powerful. You recently saved the world with your friends. What do you like to do for fun? Vengeance. I was thinking more like reading or, or, or yoga. <sighs> hey, buddy. Isn't it great to finally relax? I am an echidna warrior. So I only remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the fox. So I made myself at home. 
Nope, we are not turning our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is Ozzy doing here? He will be challenging his greatest enemy. Is the that mailman. our mailman? <laughs> this is not a place of battle, so I will begin my quest. Come, Weed. Well, most people think I'm a joke. I do not make this jokes. This is a TV show? I make warriors. Oh, let's go get him. Knuckles. Without his little friends, he's vulnerable. <laughs> he's the key to her, my newest creation. You worked for Robotnik. Bring me Knuckles. Sorry, this lane is reserved. You think you can take my power? It's episodes, yeah. This is uh, this is a TV show. Do I look like I need? All right, this looks flawless. Obviously, I will just I uh, will skip it because I don't want to spoil another moment of a show that I cannot miss a minute of. Um, uh, is there no? Sorry, it says, is there no like good movies? <laughs> like. I, mean, I haven't put anything really. Is there no like unironic good movies coming out this year? Like like movies that like are legitimately uh, Iron Claw. What's Iron Claw? Iron Claw is supposed to be. Ever since I was a child. People said my family was cursed. This is already out, bro. This is already out. Talk about movies that aren't out. Upcoming great movies. How do they know that? <laughs> How do they? Okay, so there's no actual. There's jo Joker two. Uh, I mean, I don't, do any of these really stand out? I'll probably watch Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning because I'm a big Mission Impossible fan. Bad Boys for Life? Damn, they're still doing it? Beverly Hills Cop remake? Avatar 4? Is that this year? There's really not a ton, huh? Inside Out 2? <laughs> Pixar needs the cash. Is there a Bad Boys for Life trailer? I'll do a quick check. Bad Boys for Life trailer. Wait, this already came out. This already came out. Is there another one? Bad Boys for Life 2? This came out four years ago. Bad Boys. Bad Boys movies. Let's see. Bad Boys franchise. Untitled fourth Bad Boys film is coming out in 2024. But it doesn't have a title. It comes out in June of this year, and they don't have a title yet. The film was halted briefly due to the incident of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. <laughs> uh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, I don't know. What should they call it? Bad Boys Forever? Hmm. Bad Boys 5 ever. Roadhouse Jake Gyllenhaal. Quick check. Jake Gyllenhaal. Roadhouse. 16 million views on this, huh? Before we start, I like do you Jake have G. Insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it like too far? I, about like 25 minutes, I'd say. I just slapped you. Are you all right? What? Dude, when you watch this many trailers in a row, you start to hear the same fucking sounds. <laughs> they use the same sounds in every fight scene. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, with the zoom. So you like to fight? You ever win? No one ever wins a fight. People win fights. This ain't the holiday end, pal. I, I'm, I'm moving. Wait, can I pause? I have a question for you. Unironic. 
Is anyone here a wrestling fan? Likes watching wrestling? They're into the wrestling world? No shame, it's fine. If you're into it, you're into it, it's cool. Can you explain to me? I want to understand whether I should be impressed or mad. Um, so, William Morris Endeavor uh, owns TKO, which bought the rights to WWE. Uh, and The Rock is now part of the board of directors. And there is a hotly anticipated WWE match between two wrestlers that have a lot of story together. Again, it's all scripted, but they've had this story. And then recently, The Rock has replaced one of them and put himself in in the finals. And there was a lot of anger about it. But in my mind, like, isn't it obvious that it's it's for show? <laughs> Isn't it the whole point to make everyone chant, we want Cody, and then at the thing, Cody's gonna be in it, and then... Okay, but I'm just making sure, like, The Rock obviously understood what he was doing to help promote, and he's not, he didn't like seriously say, I'm gonna, Okay. All right. I'm just making sure. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Right. Again. Uh. Okay. Because well, it's just fine. Okay. It's fine. I have no. Pro I literally have no problem with it. I just the way my trainer was talking about it. It was like the rock. The rock's not actually. I mean, I, <laughs> he's not actually. You know, trying to fucking uh, be a super villain here. Okay. All right. I understand. Okay. I, I, I seriously don't have a problem with it. I literally don't. Uh, I just I just want to make sure people... Because I don't follow it closely enough to know the exact truth, but my understanding is that it's very obviously a stunt. But if it's not a stunt... Do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, uh, reporting was... Realizing some of the change after feedback, a lot of people didn't fall for it. A lot of us are working on doing. She said the story blends up I mean, yeah, whatever. If it, if it works, it works. I mean, it sounds like it's going to be the most hype WrestleMania in a minute because of this. Although, if they switched it back early, it's almost like they did a bad. Like, if you're writing the story, what you do is you have The Rock, uh, you know, make it look 100% real. He's super villain now. He shows up, and then on the day of the thing, it's a three-man show like the Cody shows up and then they have a whole that'd be that'd be sick and then it's you know then he I feel like that would be fucking hype well why didn't they do that uh I'm watching this roadhouse sorry let's see a friend of mine suggested I come talk to you I own a roadhouse out in the Florida Keys. Lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. I can pay you good money. Judging by your car, you need this. Well, I like my car. Think about it. Come on, bro. I know who you are. Elwood Dalton. Big fan, man. That guy's got a knife under his shirt. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. You can do it. Oh shit! <laughs> Tell me about the spouse. Yeah, it's all nice, like he's Mr. Rogers or something, but then he'll haul off. Ah! Really interesting guy, overall. Brand wants to take the roadhouse away. Jeez, he's shredded. He wants to build some resort. <laughs> I should warn you, people have a certain way of getting things. Why is every, I mean, this is obviously a remake of an old movie, but why is every 80s movie's plot that <laughs> some big rich guy wants to turn X thing into a resort. That's that. <laughs> that is like every single movie between fucking uh, 1982 and 1995. Uh, look around. Yeah, I guess it already happened. Is that around here? We didn't listen. Yeah, and it's funny because in the movies, the good guys always win, but in real life, like the parking lots got made. I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Come on, bro. Jesus. <laughs> let me guess. You're gonna threaten me. 
tell me to get out of town. I get the impression that he can't be threatened. Wait, was that actually Conor McGregor? Once Knox is on the job, it's over. I thought that was a Conor McGregor type. <laughs> That's actually him? That's kind of hype. That's kind of hype. For a baby. It takes a lot to get me angry, but when I am, I just can't let go. People seem a little aggressive around here. Is that one in front of yours? No, I just broke his arm. I'm gonna see this movie so that I can tell my trainer, I'm gonna bring a photo in and say, I wanna look like that, <laughs> of Jake Gyllenhaal. So that trainers all over LA, in fact, can have scrawny men like me walk in and <laughs> show a picture of Jake Gyllenhaal and say, that's my fucking goal. Uh, and then when he tries to get me to work out, I'll be like, no, I wanna look like that. <laughs> and I'll wink. <laughs> You know, and then he'll see like, all right, well, let's get some weights. And I'll be like, no, where's, you know, really could use some juice right now, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, Got to give up the lettuce buns. That's not what I have to give up. <laughs> if I'm trying to look like that, the one thing holding me back is not that I get lettuce buns. I promise you, swapping that for the fucking bread bun is not going to suddenly make me shredded, bro. Jake only eats buns. Jake's diet, <laughs> Jake's diet for that movie was 100% Five Guys Burgers. Hold the meat, double the bun. You're right. You're right. You're actually so right. It is. You're actually so right. I'm sorry. I'm I'm an idiot on this one. Hey, let's do, um, let's, it's 944. Let's, oh wait, you know what? Can we do one, am I the asshole? Just together. Let's just find out if this person's the asshole, okay? Top. Let's go month even. All right. Let's find out if this person is actually the asshole. Top of the month. Am I the asshole for doing an anonymous tip to the police? About my best friend, a minor. Wait, this is gonna be so dark. <laughs> this is this is stupid. Of course, you're not the asshole for a minor being late to someone in their 30s. You're not the asshole, okay? There, not the asshole. That's a stupid one. That's that. There's not even. Why even post that? You, of course, you're in the right. That's illegal. That's a crime. Am I the asshole for witnessing a murder and uh, reporting it? <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't want to, like, get in this person's way, but I saw him kill someone. Um, okay. How about... Let's get a more real one. Okay. Am I the asshole for not wanting to help my brother with his baby shower? I assume that's what it is. My entire family's telling me I'm the jerk here. I'm 35 female. I've always had my rocket relationship with my brother, 33. To be honest, I feel he goes out of his way to make everyone's life harder instead of the opposite. So he's having his first baby due in May. I already have two kids, five and seven. No one in my family ever helped me with a baby shower or even asked to help with a little get together or anything for mine. And I thought that was bogus because I was the first one having kids out of all the cousins. Thankfully, my partner and I were resourceful. We got most of the baby stuff from Facebook Marketplace, yard sales. All right, resourceful. Uh, but somehow my brother thinks we should all pitch in for his baby shower. Don't get me wrong. We have helped each other craft the picture wall or make thank you gifts or make our own cake cupcakes. things like that. Now I understand if my brother and his partner were in some kind of money issue or special circumstances, but they both have good jobs. She's a teacher and he's a professional photographer. He brags about making over a thousand dollars per weekend. Sometimes I have family members telling me that due to COVID we should, we're past COVID bro. one month ago. We should all pitch in and make this a family effort, which I don't understand. It's not like my aunts and uncles. Interesting. I don't, my gut reaction is this person is not the asshole. All right. I think that's, that's fair. But like, okay, the person writing it is always an unreliable narrator. So let's just think through it. Okay. Uh, wait, what? What's the wrong sub? What's wrong with this sub? 
Oh, I am the asshole. <laughs> but it's still a question. But, but, we still have to answer this question. We have to answer this question. Th this person did not use the subreddit right then. Because this is a place for acknowledge their own assholery. This person thinks they're on the wrong sub. Do you understand? So this question would still apply. <laughs> yeah, they did the same thing, which means we're fine. Which means you guys are freaking out, but we're reading a post meant for the other sub. So if they mix it up and I mix it up, then we're on the same fucking page. <laughs> Do you understand? So we have to answer the question. 300 video is not worth my time, bucko. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking, you are so fucking stupid. I'm timing you out, bro. You're, you're so fucking stupid. Okay, all right. Solve this woman's problem. Is she the asshole or is she not? That's the question. Oh, wait, I actually might have fucked up. Wait. Not the asshole. Okay. I mean, I agree. That's what I said. I think, I think, I think not the asshole, but I don't, here's what I don't like. I don't like this. Nobody ever helped me because I think this attitude, but again, it could come from like years of, um, them favoring the brother or whatever. But I, this is the only part that I didn't like. I didn't like, uh, cause I think like, you know, with, with family, you shouldn't be keeping score in that way where it's like, you know, I didn't get three things for my baby shower. Whatever. I just think that's, I think that's a bad vibe. And also, yeah, uh, she's a teacher and he's a photographer. They both are paid well or like they don't have any money issues. I'm sure, like most Americans, they, <laughs> they could use help, you know? Like they... <laughs> I don't think they're fucking rolling in it. Professional photographer and a teacher is not like a fucking powered fucking Fortune 500 couple. That's uh, so a couple of things rub me wrong. But that being said, you shouldn't be required. Like it is odd that your parents are like calling you an asshole for not helping. I think there's more to it is all I'm saying. All right, let me go to the real subreddit. We'll go to the real subreddit because we need a we need a we need a high upvote post. Uh, am I the asshole Reddit? Okay, here it is. The actual one with 14 million people on it instead of like 2 million. Top of the month. We're looking for thousands. Okay, here it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Here is one that I would love to hear your opinion on. Am I the asshole for not sharing a free meal with my anti-Instagram boyfriend. I post food pics from when I go out to eat on Instagram. It's just for fun. I spend like 30 minutes a week on it tops. My boyfriend's a very sweet guy in many ways. But one thing I'm not so much a fan of is that he often hops on the bandwagon of hating innocent things. Not just not liking something, but making sure everyone knows he doesn't like it even if nobody asked. <laughs> I can't help but notice the theme. Pumpkin spice lattes, pouty selfies, Taylor Swift, etc. As you can guess, he's not a fan of the food pics and thinks it's very annoying and cringe. He doesn't even follow my Insta, even though he has an account. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> if he uses it. I mean, if he uses the account, that's crazy not to follow the person you're dating. Even though I don't have very many followers, I started to get occasional offers and invitations from restaurants. Uh, nothing crazy, no steak dinners, but I got a few sandwiches and several baked goods. Well, I just hit the big leagues and I got invited to a new restaurant opening that includes a free appetizer for, and an entree for me and one guest. I immediately invited one of my Instagram friends <laughs> who I've gone out to eat with on several occasions and who also enjoys taking food photos. I told my boyfriend and he's pissed that I'm not taking him and says I'm doing it out of spite. I really think I'm not. If the restaurant is giving me free food in exchange for a post, I'm going to put more effort into the post. It's been a few extra minutes making sure that they get very good shots. And I'd rather do it with someone who isn't going to sigh and roll their eyes through the whole thing. 
Also, I think it's pretty audacious of him to be actively unsupportive of an activity that hurts no one, but then expect to benefit with it. Ooh, interesting. 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 Who is the asshole here? I mean, the parts I don't like from the boyfriend are uh, immediately getting pissed. That it, like, this is... This is weird. It's not, especially, you know, unless she's taking someone, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like if you're taking your ex. <laughs> that's different, but, you know, a friend that also does this here, but that's weird. And then this is like so hater energy. This is, this is constantly shitting on like girly things. That's, that's hater energy. So that's, that's weird. That being said, um, I don't know. I, I think it'd be nice if she, uh, when she first got this offer, had told him first. <laughs> you know, not even not I'm like you just told him. Say like, I'm gonna. I'm thinking of inviting. I don't know. I think that would be maybe make an offer. Could be fun. That it could be a fun way to win him over. Show him that it's actually working. This this photo thing. I think you win it was just a negative. Like I feel like you guys hate each other. <laughs> That's my takeaway from this. Is I feel like you guys are already broken up. We don't know it yet. I feel like there's so much hostility here. Do you know? Like I, I feel like you would want to try and get him involved if you wanted to. So that's my takeaways. It's kind of like a, but you know, in the, if it was only this one action, I think you're not the asshole. I think you're obviously not the asshole. Uh, is there any good comments? Uh. <laughs> Disdain has been scientifically proven to be one for predictor of future divorce. A person's character is their playbook. Um, one thing I heard, I'm going to give you guys uh, something I heard about relationships um, that I think has been helpful for me. Uh, all right, I've been together a very long time. Um, was I remember I saw like a video or something? It was like it was like ten years ago. It was of some some guy talking about marriages. And he said he could predict the marriage would fail just by spending 15 minutes in a room with a couple, but he had like a good success rate. And it was this thing called bids, um, where if you do something to like get your partner's attention, like if you're like, hey, check out that, I don't know, check out that bird in the window, or like, can I show you this? Like it's, it's a bid for attention. And if one partner does that and the other partner responds by like brushing them off or ignoring them, it's like the worst sign. <laughs> it was like the worst possible sign. And um, one thing I noticed is like, if if somebody, you know, if someone's like, if Aria wants to come in and talk about something or ask about something, just like giving that the respect of focusing on it and giving an answer and like not, like, I think that really pays off. I think the idea of like, Anyway, he said, the way he said his study was like, people are constantly, like both people in a relationship or people in human interactions are constantly giving these micro bids for attention at all times in some ways. And like how you respond to that is is a huge predictor of whether or not there's like real hostility there. And yeah, so I don't know. I, I honestly, that stuck with me and it's like giving me like the energy or the push to be like, don't just like, just give it a shot. And it works. I think it works. I think it certainly works. So... Um. Yeah, that's that's my one little bit of a relationship advice. If you guys are in any long-term committed relationships, give it a shot. Think about that. You might stick with you. It might stick with you. It might work. Uh, guys, it's 56. We're going to watch House MD. So you have bid for house attention, and I am hearing you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go uh, hit the lights, turn on the, sound, uh, turn on the thing, and... Um, we just had a really insane episode. I've Again, this season's actually probably one of my favorites. Unironically... Even though it's probably the dumbest season thus far, it is also the funniest and the wildest, and they've gone off the rails. So I'm going to hit the lights. I'm going to get a snack. I'm going to drink. Uh, I'm going to play an ad. And uh, let's just let's end the night with a little house. It'll be fun. Uh, all right. Be ready. Get some snacks. Get some drinks. And for the VOD frog.